Glad you did a countdown. Hello Thank there. You. Hi guys. We're Hi. playing Smash today. Yeah. Um, as you know, hello. I'm Jesse. And I'm Jerry. And we have a special guest today. Who the fuck are you? Hey, I'm Dash. Uh, I'm the DM on the Dungeons and Dragons podcast that, that Jesse's on. Hey. Uh, I'm also a stand-up comic and and just I'm I don't know. Uh, uh, yep. Hi. Hello. I love there's a there's an overlap with like I think all entertainers where if you say your your profession people are like oh so like tell a joke or like oh do a voice your voice actor just do a voice do people just assume you're like funny and like yeah people incorrectly assume that I am funny <laughs> uh, constantly uh, my stock response when people say oh you're a comic are you funny oh someone saw me at Liberty City Anime Convention hello oh cool yeah uh, uh, yeah uh, my stock response. When people ask if I'm funny, is well, some some people seem to think so. <laughs> I say my mom thinks I'm funny. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that because it establishes like a, a, the truth. <laughs> my mom is my number one fan, and that's it. Uh, my number one fan <laughs> is a guy named Brian in Oakland, and he keeps <laughs> trying to become my friend, and I won't let him <laughs> because I want him to stay a fan. <laughs> I feel like once someone. Oh, you someone... fan zoned him. I Listen, see. Listen, once someone is your, like, once you go from fan to friend, they're not a fan anymore. <laughs> I'm your friend. I'm a big fan of you. No. Uh -huh. So. Thank you. I'm sure Jerry would be, also. Yes. I, I'm glad that you weren't. Put... <laughs> I'm glad that this was so organic and you weren't put on the spot yes. at all, Jerry. Not that's, forced at all. That's what I was hoping for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like we're. In... Two different cameras. There's, it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Jerry specifically asked not to be on the same camera as Dash, and I was like, "Why?" And he's like, "Cause I hate him." And I said, "Oh, okay. oh Jerry, what?" But I am rooting for you. <laughs> oh, hey, well, I'm okay with that. Then. <laughs> I hate him, but I hope he succeeds in life. What uh, a what a <laughs> what a complicated web we've woven. Huh? <laughs> yeah, very complicated yeah. relationship. All here. right, sure. <laughs> I'm oh, about yes. to, Michael. Yes, we listen. have a very special Smash game streamathon. Are you doing that? I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's a very great <laughs> thing. Oh uh, God! <laughs> Why don't you show them the prices, oh, Jesse? Yikes! All right. Oh right. <laughs> yikes is my favorite white word. Oh, yikes I love it factory. A lot. Did, did you show the prices? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So today we've got some crazy shit yeah, for you today. Yeah, it's a master mode challenge, but for Smash. Yeah, and so we... um, I'm pulling up the thing right now. But basically, you can affect the game. If you've never been here before, if you donate yes. bits, you are able to affect how Jared's playing and what he's playing as. There is Shirtless Shulk. We got that for 500 bits per match. We're doing per match because you can't just switch out in the middle of a match. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. You got it? Cool. Thank yeah. you. Uh <laughs> Well, the chat's oh, over here. Uh, you can choose there. Jerry's character for 800 bits a match, and if you would like, he will stay in character for an extra 200 bits. So that's he'll uh, do the voice. That he'll do an impression yeah, of that I'll character. Do a crappy yes. impression of it. Yeah, which is I think will be very fun. I think people will take Delightful. advantage of that because yeah. we've never heard you do like a a D D D. A D D D. Yeah, King D D D. Is that his name? That is his name. DDD sounds like. He's a rabbit. Save penguin. it for the bits, Jerry. <laughs> I'll save it. That's well, a little taste. There's a little taste. A little penguin taste. Well, you could also oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> taste that DDD. D. <laughs> Hell yeah. You uh, you can also put sock hands on Jerry for 800 bits per match, which is always fun because yes. Jerry, it's a point of pride. Jerry's very good at Smash. Oh, yeah. So if you make him less good at Smash, he'll be angry. I'll be very angry. Um. Uh, you can also turn the controller upside down. Yes. Also very fun, something we tried out in uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild that people very I've much like. I've never liked. played Smash upside down, so... You can start Jerry out with one stock. How does that work? Or you I just, just jump SD. off the edge? I just SD right away and I yeah. start yeah, with one stock. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm someone gonna is going to be like, what the fuck just happened? That guy right. just jumped off the stage. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> They're all going to be confused of yeah. all these challenges. You can also challenge Jerry yourself if you want to for 3,000 bits It's a best match. out of three. Ooh. Best out of three? Hell yeah. Yes. And passivist mode. What is passivist mode? I do no attacks. I just dodge <laughs> and avoid the enemy. Jerry, I can't. If I, if I accidentally hit him, I have to SD. I have to jump off the stage. Jerry, I can't imagine that strategy is going to be very good in playing Smash Bros. <laughs> well, guess they have to play my game then. Hey, uh, mm. Resnick1022 wants to know if you're going to do a patron stream where patrons can challenge you after the new Smash comes out. Oh. Patron stream. We haven't talked about, we haven't, we we haven't talked talked about, about it. It's not a bad idea, though. We'll probably talk about it later. That's true. There's all. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, Resident, get your get no. your get your friends probably to be more public. patrons, my <laughs> dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but probably a, a non-patron stream. We might do that. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, Jerry's gonna just jump into playing, jump and right we're in. here to make fun of him. Let's just jump right in. Jump right in for glory, guys. And, jealous uh, challenge. Yeah, jealous challenge Jerry. Make him do pacifist mode. Yeah. <laughs> he said he hates me. Just do a bunch of challenge combinations so that you can win. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down controller, sock hands. Now I like a combination where you have to both do pacifist mode and be in character as the character. I feel like that's. That's probably the idea. Yeah. What about saving money? Do you not understand? My dog, do you, you don't know how loaded of a question that is for me. Because <laughs> let me tell you, just about everything, everything about saving money, I do not understand. <laughs> Sometimes my bank account is like, hey, you spend this much more than you deposit, and it's always an embarrassing number. It's always a very embarrassing number. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let Jerry's me just, just going to jump right in. Jump right into 101. And, Let's see who's um, the next person thing Jerry, challenge. I, Jerry, <laughs> I just, Jerry, I just want you to know that I love you no matter what, unless you lose. Oh. Okay. Okay. So then you'll both hate each other, and the sex will be amazing. <laughs> I, I, I mean... Oh! I, I failed. failed to connect to your partner's device. I've been there, huh, bud? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha -ha. Waka waka. What? Jerry. <laughs> Nah, I feel sad. That's fair. No, yeah, me too. But low key all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> right, I believe it's three thousand. I'll, I'll double check. I'll double check. challenge me now, yes. Jerry. I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at your opponent. Can you move your hand? Yeah. So it looks. I'm looking at your opponent. Yes. Um. Oh, it's just Mike. It's Mike. It's Mike. But we're in a very cool pair of shades. Yeah. And he got his hair dyed. I'm gonna. And you died. And you died. You're driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mike. Okay, driving Mike. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jerry, don't goof this up. We're trying not to. Jerry, right do now. not goof uh, this up. Oh, uh, no, Jesus no. Christ. Oh, Luigi. <laughs> oh, it's a Luigi. The faded battle between two brothers on laundry day. Yeah, no, seriously. This is, um... I'm not sure I like this Luigi skin. Oh, I hate it a lot. It, it doesn't... Oh, oh what is... Yep. Oh, oh crap. Jerry, you he jumped right into that, bud. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a very it's it's the worst kind of mustard yellow. Oh. Yeah. A thousand be female Robin in character, female please. Robin yeah. Hell character, yeah, please. dog. Yes, yes. In character, <laughs> baby. I cannot wait for that. Oh my him. god. Alien smash. <laughs> Uh, Resnick wants to remind you, Jerry, that at Liberty City Anime Con during the eight-man smash, they just went for you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, they just did. Yeah. <laughs> Resnick, I support you and in living your life. There you go. <laughs> Why does he go do a freaking missile? What the hell? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna freaking do this. Well, pod pod five guy. Hey, what up? Yeah, pod five guy says hello. Hello, pod five guy. <laughs> Get out of here, Luigi. You're not my brother. No, he is, Jerry. You can't, you can't toy with the fiction as such. What was that? Someone, was, someone went out while Luigi, though, is not actually related to any of them, right? I think so. Like, Because I, I had to look it up for a joke. I was like, Are there, is it related or Waluigi? What the fuck? Yeah, I think he just cosplays as, as Luigi and shows up to play tennis one day. Mm hmm. Uh, it go, Luigi. Jerry, Pod 5 guy is actively rooting against you. I just, <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I Thank just want, you. I just want you to know there's people out there in the world who want you to fail. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm one so of glad them. that there's so many supportive fans. <laughs> <up there>. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, such a badass, Mario Bros. <laughs> hey, Robin. Robin. Okay, on character. to the next one. On to the next one. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited here with this. Here with your, uh, your, your, oh, go whoever fights Jerry. Oh yeah, I mean everyone's pretty against you in this. In this, everyone stream, solidly Jerry. does not want you to succeed. Failure See? builds character. That's true. Mm -hmm. See, this is good because I suck with all the other characters except for Mario. Yeah. So this is this is uh, <laughs> nothing like. personal. All right, Pod Five guy specifies nothing personal. It's just, just Luigi guy. <laughs> That's nothing fair. personal, kid. Uh, Jealous, the, however, does specifically root for whoever fights Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> which is, I get it. Okay, so female Robin. And in character. And in character. Mm -hmm. Got it. I can't wait how you represent a oh, woman. Pretty in excited. This. Pretty excited, bud. I, 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 I don't have that many female voices. Pretty, pretty excited, bud. 
Yeah, when I used to play Smash, which was a long time ago, uh, I was always I liked Lucario. <laughs> uh, I liked Lucario and, Robin? Uh, okay. and Lucas. Do you not even know where the dang character is? <laughs> Jerry. There he is. Jerry. I see. Ro oh, there we go. There we go. Which color, Robin? Oh, Ooh. pink hair for sure, dog. Pink hair. Bubblegum pink, my dude. Oh, nice. What would Robin sound like? I don't know. I know what Robin sounds like here, but I can't do her voice. Yeah. Well, just do your best amalgamation, Jerry. Arc fire. <laughs> oh, God. Well, well, let's get ready for a whole round of that then, huh? All right. Let's oh, go. Oh, sweet Jesus. We've I'd done it. Her. <laughs> I, re I regret so much. I regret so much. All the decisions I've made Let's in my life. Go. Oh, here we go, huh? Okay. okay. All right. All of the decisions I've made in my life Jerry, that have led there. to this moment. Jerry, you're giving me an erection, buddy. Yeah. And oh, um, no. Jerry, you're you're giving me whatever the opposite of an erection oh, is. No. My penis has receded inside some, of my if body. If there's some sort yeah. of shrinkage, yeah. oh, uh, no. it's shrinkage is not even the right. Arc fire. I like to imagine that you're doing this, and the whole time Captain Falcon's like, can you, can you stop? Can you just, can I'll we? show you my moves. <laughs> oh shit, is that Dash? It is me. Hey, Sam. I know Sam from oh, Twitter. No. What up, dog? Hey, hey, Sam. Yeah, Sam follows me on Twitter and, and likes all our D&D stuff. Yeah. Our D&D podcast, D&D.cool. Check it out. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesse's in it. Yes, it's very good. Yeah. I've never played this character before. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. No, are you? is that a thing that Robin would say in character? <laughs> Robin is having some sort of like schizoid break. We've all played <laughs> ourselves at some point. Hey, Super 4 Star, welcome to the stream. Hey, Hello. What's, what's up? Hey guys, uh, if you don't know what the fuck is going on, I'm Jesse. I edit for Team Four Stars Gaming Channel. Um, I also play Saris in Helsing Bridge. This is Jerry. He's playing Smash. Hi. Hi. Um, he, I'll explain the rules in a bit, but he's playing uh, female Robin in character voice because someone donated bits for it. Hell yeah, dog. Hell uh, yeah. Oh yes, I will. Um, well, uh, Dash, do you, you want to say? Hey, I'm Dash. Uh, I tried to do it. I tried to do a cool Sailor Moon thing, but my microphone was in the way, so it was just very awkward. Uh, I'm Dash. I'm a stand-up comic. I'm the Dungeon Master. I hate saying that. I'm the Game Master the for uh, Lost in the Multiverse, a D&D podcast that Jesse's on. And I also travel all over this terrible country telling jokes at pieces of shit in bars and clubs. Hell yeah. Uh, so right now we're doing a Master Mode challenge while Jerry plays Smash. And I'm, we've got the, the prices up there. If you're interested, uh, Shirtless Shulk, uh, he will play as for 500 bits per match. Uh, choose my character, which is Je what Jealous just did. That's why Jerry's playing as female Robin. Uh, he added the 200 bits so that Jerry has to be the voice of Robin and perform in character the whole and time. And can I just say he's doing a delightful job. Oh, it's so yeah, good. Yeah, it's very hot. Uh, you can also do sock hands, which is you put socks on Jerry's hands while he plays. Yeah. It fucks him up real bad. Jerry's normally good at this game, so if you can fuck him up, you'll feel good about yourself. Uh, he will turn the controller oh, upside down die. for uh, 1,500 bits per match. Uh, he'll start out with one stock <laughs> for that amount. You can challenge him if you would like for that amount. Or pacifist mode, which is he can't hit anyone. Uh, he just kind of just goes around trying his best to be a pacifist. I feel you're doing pretty good here, Jer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby, I won! Oh, my God. Oh, I got Robin for the win, baby. I sure hate this. Oh, God. Okay. I won! <laughs> yeah! Hey, Jerry, hey, Jesse, Jesse. Hey, Rodolphus. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I always liked that everyone claps, even the villains, just yes. because everyone's a yes. decent sportsman. Okay, so I fucking... Now... Kirby's is my favorite, because it looks like he has little ears that just go... <laughs> yeah, I do like that. It's very nice. <laughs> now let me do Mario. Because <laughs> I was, like, not even trying. <laughs> well, I mean, I was trying as freaking uh, Robin, because I don't play Robin at all. Uh, Jealous Does... specifies, darn, they wanted you to lose. Aww. Just a lot of anti-Jerry sentiment in the stream right now, you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is fair, <laughs> because it's, it's our energy all the time, so... Uh. Sorry for when the sock hands mess things up for you. <laughs> A lot of Captain Falcons. Who's the... What is the... I don't even know what the fucking meta is right now. Who do you see most on these things? Oh. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Hey, I'm not a freaking fish guy. Thanks so much for the bits. Uh, what's our favorite idea? My Ashtrays, favorite thank idea. you for the follow. Uh, like, what, it, what it, like, favorite idea? Like, what does that mean? Like, what idea you've come up with that is your favorite? Or is it, like... 
No, Phoenix. Thank oh. you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I was just going to pronounce it Phoenix because I imagine that's what they intended. Do you think? But if you said, you know, you've sort of, you've hung a Phionics. lantern. Phoenix. You've hung a lantern Hooked on, on Phoenix. <laughs> uh, Zappa Boy. Thank you so much for the follow. Zappa Boy. I don't know what my favorite idea is because this is such a nebulous question. Like, is it like, what is my favorite sort of thing conceptually? My guess is that because uh, I'm not a freaky fish guy. Although I do feel like if you're not a freaky fish, if you were a freaky fish guy, the first thing you would tell people is that you're not a freaky fish guy. Uh, yours is being creative. Um, yeah, shoot, that's a hard ass question. Jerry, what's your favorite idea? Favorite idea? Yeah. Any, any idea whatsoever. Any idea Great. what's a, that it's is the worst answer? I didn't think that you could have such a bad answer, Jerry. And then, <laughs> and then you, you, went, you went and done did it. I have no idea. You went and done did it, bud. What's the idea for? Well, so the the question, what's your favorite idea? And then uh, Dick Fuel, Fish guy explains uh, uh, their favorite idea is being creative. Oh, it seems more like a, a genre of ideas. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a pretty broad question. What's your Stop. favorite idea of what? <laughs> What's I'm pretty. Idea? Idea. Oh yeah. Oh, his house. Oh, they want to know if you're going to yeah New York City Anime Fest or uh, New York City Comic Con or Anime NYC. Oh, uh, we are not. No. But if you want us there, you can ask them nicely, hey, I'd like these people there. Rodolphus wants to know if someone's a freaky fish guy, would the little mermaid be porn to them? Well, no, that would be a freaky so mermaid boring. guy, dog. Oh. D&D <laughs> &D analyst. Well, I like this person already. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much D &D for the D&D analyst, what would you like? What would you... Yes. You yeah, could you, choose could, uh, a, choose you a character. could choose a character for Jerry, yeah. which I feel like Dr. Mario would be a fun one for him to do character. Uh, oh. It's Dr. Punks the whole time. How do I join as a challenger? Just want to know. Uh, I think you challenge, you have to, You have to, it's what, like a, a thousand bits? Miss Ali Jace, seven. Thank you for the follow. 3,000 bits. For Dang. Three thousand. Best of three. Best of three is 3,000. I have to keep remembering that people can't hear Mike. I'm like, okay, it's six <laughs> seconds, so no, I gotta okay. go. I gotta go. I don't know what uh, what character they need. Mm. They want. Um, they haven't specified. They might have just given you some money just to be nice. Well, that would be oh, nice. Oh, D&D oh, analyst for uh, so for a thousand. Yes, go on. You've left us hanging, D&D <laughs> <D &D> analyst. <laughs> I can't wait what for a, this answer. What a, what a user of mystery and, oh. and, and another word that's synonymous for mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the panel the, that I was on match. with them, Jerry showed up like 40 minutes into it <laughs> and very awkwardly had to walk past everyone and then also had to squeak, I had to squeak through, squeak, I don't know what word that is, squeak. had to scoot through the sound, through the... Uh, Play as Wario. Hell yeah, dog. Hey. Not in character. If you are okay. able to digitalize and create a copy of your consciousness, we were just talking about this. We, literally we were literally just, just were. talking about this yesterday. Yes. If yesterday. you were able to dig digitize and create a copy of your consciousness, and you were able to upload that to a synthetic body, do you think that it would actually be you, or would you cease to exist once you died? Also, Empole, thank you so much for the bits. We'll, we'll do that. <laughs> Hell yeah, play as Wario. Play as Wario. <laughs> uh, play as that dirty farty boy. Um, no, I wouldn't digit. I wouldn't digitize. Anything because it's terrifying because I spent I read too much Hank Henshaw stuff in comic books and it's I don't want to be the cyborg Superman and he just wants to die but he can't he can't die not even the <laughs> anti monitor can kill cyborg Superman nope um it's terrifying like yeah when I was a kid we had Tuck Everlasting and Twilight to read it. hey Sam hey Dash good to see you. Hell also, yeah, you. Jerry needs to play long. <laughs> no links allowed in Twitch. <laughs> Sadly, clothes are required. And that was a thousand bits, yeah. so I think that's playing as long in character. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be kind of easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be entertaining nonetheless. I wish there was a skin where you could just put him in the little boxers. <laughs> His little swimsuit. suit. I'm still trying to think of what my favorite idea is, y'all. <laughs> it's a very... I'm, I'm so stuck on what's your favorite idea. Mm -hmm. I'm not a freaky fish guy. You have flummoxed me with this one. You, you sure have given me... You sure have given me a lot to... I gotta, re, I gotta rethink my whole life, I guess. Because I don't know what my favorite idea is. I think my favorite idea was to try voiceover. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, because that's that pretty. kind of set my path. 
as I went because I met Jerry and Mike through that. Yeah. And then, uh -huh. you know, my acting took a different route. This is a very sweet, a very sweet one. Yeah. I think my bright idea was just to do a random voice on YouTube, and that's how I got here. <laughs> Freaking. Well, I see, like, I, I feel like mine has to be meaningful. I was, I've, been, <laughs> I've been sitting here on this couch trying to think of like a funny thing that I could say, like, oh, my favorite idea is uh, 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 something stupid <laughs> and, and a joke. But now you all have, you have made a situation. I vexed you. You all have, yeah, you vexed me entirely. <laughs> um, but it can be simple, like, hey, good idea is eating food. I like that. After long. After long. I after want to see Jerry play uh, as Bowser. Huh? Uh -huh. Also, I'm always 51% in favor of Jerry. 51% in favor, Jerry. That's better than before. Those are some oh, good numbers, whoa. bud. Yeah. Yo. I, I think I've hey, got my own Jealous, thank you. For the, <laughs> thanks for the bits, Jealous. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for the bitty bits. Yes. Fuck it. Oh, Sam's yes. Street Boss? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Artists. There was a Bowsette. Someone was talking about Bowsette. There was a. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, see, that's yeah, favorite idea that they've had. Uh, th do I have a Twitch for, for you to watch later? I'm not. I've never done a Twitch before. This is my favorite. This is oh, not my favorite. This is my first time. My my first. And therefore, my yes. fa but it's favorite. But favorite. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh, least favorite Twitch experience. <laughs> oh, Bowsette. Um, I saw a Bowsette comic that made me cry. That's a fun oh, one. Yeah. That's a fun just thing about me. Making you cry. Hey, y'all. Your boy Dash oh, wow. cries a whole bunch of lots of stuff. <laughs> so. Bowsette is very emotional. Oh, yeah. It was sweet. It was this whole thing where it was this thing where Bowser and 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 his son were talking and and the uh, kid Koopa or whatever his name is was <laughs> like, is it Kid Koopa? Did I get that wrong? Koopa it's Kid Koopa from now uh, from now on. I'm calling Kid Koopa. Where he was like, where he was like, Dad, where's Mom? How come we've never met Mom? And Bowser's like, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Like I'll do my best. And he's like, in fact, you know what? And he comes back as Bowsette because that's oh. actually Bowser. And he gives him like a very rousing speech. And your dumb boy Dash was a fucking weepy mess. <laughs> I'm going to tear up thinking about that. Yeah, so, it was okay. really sweet. Oh, right. No spoilers for Spider-Man PS4. But, like, I get teary-eyed at a lot of media and stuff. But, like, the first time I openly just weeped from 0 to 100, like, the fastest I ever have is the end of the Spider-Man PS4 game. I just I just started fucking bawling for, like, it was a lot. And <laughs> Jerry, Jerry <laughs> my dog, you, you cry at stuff or you not really a cry boy? <laughs> King Baymax <laughs> also cried in that comic. Hell yeah, King Baymax, too sweet baby. <laughs> oh, you can't talk now, huh, bud? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That comic. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, what's the most embarrassing thing that consistently makes you cry? Ooh. Um. <laughs> probably like sweets. Uh, like animal videos. And also, like, sweet stories about, um, like, there's one where, like, someone was checking oh. out things at the grocery store and they were under an amount, so someone behind them just paid for all their food. Oh, that's and, really sweet. Yeah, and they were like, don't worry, I've been where you've been. And that, that kind of shit just makes me cry, like, like yeah. immediately. Uh, I also, I've cried a lot every time I've watched Coco. It's been, like, four oh, times Oh, yeah, now. Coco's a tearjerker for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, although I did call that, I called that sneak attack ending at the very end. Right in the beginning, I was like, like I got the end. It yeah, called no, it. Yeah. Dash was able to predict the twist. And I was like, I couldn't say anything, nope. but I was like, that's certainly a, a thing yep. that you said just now. Um, the most embarrassing thing that makes me cry consistently is the music video for Ocean Breathe Salty by Modest Mouse. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen it recently, load up that bad boy and get weepy with your boy Dash. It's me, it's your boy Dash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, my favorite color is purple. I know Jerry's is green. Yeah. My favorite color is also green. Uh, it's I have a Green Lantern tattoo on my arm. It's one of my many very stupid tattoos. Uh, uh, the best Green Lantern is Guy Gardner, and fucking fight me if you disagree. <laughs> also, if you say Hal Jordan, I hate you. <laughs> Green is not a creative color. You're not a creative color! Why would you reward us with mo money and then also say a mean thing? I think it's very funny when people give us bits to insult us. It's like my favorite thing. Because it's like walking up on the street to someone, giving them a $5 bill and being like, you suck and I hate you and walking away. It's like, well, okay. No. <laughs> I guess, uh, John yeah. Stewart is best. Dog, I can't fight no. you on that. I do love John Stewart a lot. John Stewart is <laughs> so for me. Hal Jordan was not a good Green Lantern. Thank you. Yeah. John Stewart, not a good, or sorry. Hal Jordan, not a good Green Lantern. John Stewart, good as hell. Um, 
<laughs> Remember when he hosted the Daily definitive Show? Definitive ranking of Green Lanterns. Guy Gardner, Hal Rayner, John Stewart, uh, the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, screw you. I'm giving you money in order the to best, say main things. The best Green Lantern was Mogo. Yeah, Mogo is good as hell, for sure. Now I have to put away your life size statue of Hal Jordan. Don't put that away. Cherish that. That's yeah. <laughs> guy. Listen, Guy Gardner is great, and I relate to him a whole lot because he's good at what he does, and most people hate him, but he's trying real hard. <laughs> Golden Age Jail. Yeah, man. Alan yeah. Scott's tight as hell. Jesse, um, you too, was... Mike. Have some money. <laughs> 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 oh, finally, I could not. Like I didn't say anything about Dash, so you're in the clear. Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, people are neutral t to positive about me. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, Alan Scott. Scott's tight as hell. I I got really upset when they Bowser. when they announced yeah out Bowser but yeah. not in character. If you want uh, Jerry in character as Bowser, you gotta pay for that. If you want Jerry in character as Bowsette, which is a thing that I think we all want, you gotta <laughs> oh, pay, you gotta oh, pay for that as well. <laughs> so I'd be like, don't ruin this for me, Mike. <laughs> it would be the Bowser voice, but he has to be like combine it with Robin. Who's the best oh, Robin? Hello. Oh, that's oh, hard. Okay, so I really oh, like sexy are you? I really <laughs> like. You all have small penises. <laughs> Epam, e e e I have a very average. Okay. Uh, <laughs> listen, I, mean, I can show you the sub. size of my penises, I'm, and they're all I'm, very listen, large. Listen, is is house Izzy? Is it Izzy? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. A hundred? Can we have Jerry cosplay as Bowser? Well, not for a hundred bits, my dog. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Vermillion. I gotta agree with you. I think I do think Tim Drake is my favorite Robin. And don't get me wrong, I love I love Dick Grayson a lot, but I love him as Nightwing. Uh, Tim Drake is dope as hell, and just like being the only Robin who fucking figured out Batman's bullshit on his own. I will say, and people don't people don't really like Damian Wayne a lot, but I love the juxtaposition of serious Edge Lord Robin with goofy ass Dick Grayson Batman when uh, when. Batman Batman had got hit with the Omega beams and was back in time. Uh, I'm learning so much. Yeah, so there's a point when Dick Grayson took over as Batman, and you know Dick Grayson fucking cracks jokes and is like a jokey boy. Uh -huh. uh, but his Robin at that time was Batman's son, Damian Wayne, who was raised by the fucking League of Assassins. So it was the only time when Robin was like, "Batman, can you fucking be serious for a second? <laughs> Stop cracking jokes." That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. no, it was good as hell. <laughs> um, I, I mean, people shit on Jason Todd all the time, and I get it, but I'm also like, I do like Red Hood a bunch. Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, a lot of Robins are good. There's not any Robin that I'm like super against. Who's the best Flash? Wally West, dog, come on. It's not even close. Who's the best Flash? Uh, I will say this. I think I think my issue with, with Barry Allen is that a lot of people forget who the fuck Barry Allen is because Wally West has become so... Uh, Definitive for speedsters. Which Wally? Oh, it's hard. I mean, Young Justice Wally is so good. I love Young Justice Wally a whole bunch. Yeah. Um, I love Wally in general, though. I think his whole his whole arc was. I mean, people people don't want to say this. But people people love the name Barry Allen, but whenever they write Wally into stuff, they like. I don't know. They just write him as Barry. As, well, they write Barry's name with Wally's character. Um, I like I like the Barry. Uh, uh, New Frontier is a really good. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris plays uh, uh, Barry Allen and does like a very good job of making him like oh, actual nice. Barry Allen, where he's like Golden Age, like, well, we're just gonna do our best and, and see what we can do, like that kind of like Golden oh, Age superhero. No. No, 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 no. Um, okay. Jason Todd is not a bass character; he's just poorly written. Yes. That's and that's part of it is like you can even take a shit character and like write him real yeah, well. What? Hell I yeah, dog! Bowser. I never play as Bowser. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! I got lucky. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Jeez, Bowser is combo fodder to die. And with that, we're through the queue. So if you would like to donate to have Jerry play as a character should and we or throw play them, in character. Should we throw them prices back up yeah, on the thing and talk about them a little bit? Look at them prices, baby. Yeah, sure. hey guys, if you would. Oh, that perfect. makes sense. That's a good one. Yeah, so for 800 bits, you can choose what character Jerry plays as. Even if he sucks at the character, he'll just do it. Yeah. Uh, and for an extra 200, so it's like 1,000 bits total, he'll play in character in the voice also. So. Whatever the fuck you guys want, he will do it. EJ, I don't. So I, I grew up on Redhead Wally West, and so I, I honestly I haven't been keeping up with Flash comics as much uh, to know uh, as much about Black Wally. I love Black Wally on the Flash TV show, which I'm a big fan of. I don't care if it's bad. Uh, yeah. I like Black Wally a lot. I, I mean, representation is super, super important to me, especially with like an important legacy character like Flash. So conceptually, I'm a huge fan, but I haven't consumed a ton of uh, Flash media like in recent times. Mm -hmm. Shirtless Shulk. Shirtless Shulk. Hell yeah. Thank you. Pull, thank you for the bits. 
Oh, cool. So yeah, uh, just when we're done with this, we'll linger on the screen so you can take a look and uh, see what the roster is. Rebirth is really good. I think my favorite Flash story, I forget what it was called. It was the one where uh, Wally had just, so uh, Barry had just uh, died and Wally was Flash and, uh, and uh, Reverse Flash shows up pretending to be Barry for the first time. And uh, that's like just such a good classic fucking uh, Flash story. Yeah, I do like, I, I watch, I forget when I stopped watching, but I did watch The Flash for a while. Remember when Jerry ate Jesse's cookie? Or when he got lost in a hospital? Good times. <laughs> also was re-watching uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate and cracked up when Jacob got run over by a cart in episode 35. <laughs> I fucking forgot about that, that's great. Just got run over, like they were just, they were just standing there, I think, like, oh man. Also, you brought me on the stream just to talk endlessly about comic books, right? That's Absolutely, what you, yes. That's what you wanted. It's very funny because none of us know anything about comics, so I didn't know there was this whole section of our chat that just had all this knowledge about comics and wanted to hear... Yeah, it's crazy how uh, these nerds, it's crazy how these nerds <laughs> love comic books. I never crazy, could have right? predicted that. <laughs> but it's just, it's just very funny Yo, saying, like, just, everyone know about something. J Justice League Unlimited Wally is the actual, is the actual best. Yeah. May you ask what it's like to be a stand-up comic? Sure can. Uh, it sucks really bad, and I hate it. Um, no, it's good. I, I mean, so it's sort of it's it's a twofer where performing stand-up comedy is uh, is my actual uh, favorite thing to to do. Um, maybe of all the things, but the industry is so fucking bad. Um, like I have a friend who is. Uh, I don't know. She's the best joke writer I know, and she's super, super talented, and she's been on Conan and done a bunch of shit, and she should be headlining clubs all over this country, but they won't uh, book her to headline because she uh, because she fucking yells at men on the internet about politics. <laughs> Meanwhile, T.J. Miller still has headline dates for fucking days, and comedy industry is uh, bad, and I hate it. Um, but I yeah. love doing it. Is that what your question was, or did you have more like, uh, what's it like to like write jokes and stuff? Because that's also <laughs> bad, and I love it. It's worse than anything else, and I love it more than anything else. Are comics your favorite idea? Are comics my favorite idea? Ooh, I don't know. It's either comic. I let me. If we're talking about ideas in general, I love comics. I love pro wrestling a whole bunch. Um, I'm wearing a, my Marty Scurll T-shirt of one of the three fucking Marty Scurll T-shirts I own. <laughs> Um, yeah, hell yeah, we could have talked. We could have talked uh, uh, shop at the at Liberty City. Uh, we can talk shop right now, but it's but it's you typing and me responding with words. <laughs> but you'll probably be at Liberty City next year. Yeah, I, I'm gonna definitely be at Liberty City next year. Yeah. Puro Resu, Puro Resu, baby, hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> Bullet Club for life. Uh, uh, too sweet me. <laughs> um, yeah, yo, did you watch Destruction? Did you watch the? Uh, uh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil Destruction. For you, but watch Destruction if you haven't, because it's good as hell. What's Destruction? Destruction was the most recent New Japan Pro Wrestling pay per view, ah. and uh, and uh, they did a very. Did I watch All In? I was at All In Live, baby. Mm -hmm. I drove to Chicago with uh, with two other comics, and we went to All In, and it was dope as hell. <laughs> it was the uh, actual best wrestling show I've ever been to in my life. Mm -hmm. You cried a lot. I oh, I did a bunch of crying when they put that strap on Cody. I wept like an infant. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jerry. Another section of our audience that I didn't know about. People know about wrestling in our chat. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a real sweet moment for wrestling right now when all of us idiots who grew up on wrestling are like, oh my god, we can talk about wrestling in public now? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, no, it's kind of like the D&D &D phenomenon where it's yeah. like, oh, it's cool to be a nerd now. Like, yep. cool, awesome. And yeah. I'm, I'm really happy about that. That's something that actually kind of makes me tear up a little bit when I think about it is yeah. how Shirtless much the time. culture has shifted. Absolutely. Yeah. Um... Yeah, because like in our in our day, like you'd get the shit beat out of us for like liking D and D or like sure. video games, you know, yeah. and that's yeah. cool. Hmm? Oh, Jerry's gonna do shirtless Shulk. Fuck yeah! Right, yeah. Yes. We're gonna linger over the character list a little bit in case any of you had any ideas about mm. getting in the queue. You can uh, donate the bits ahead of time. Just be like, hey, when you're done with this, I'd like you to play as Fox. <laughs> Nerd culture has won. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of. We still got a lot of toxicity to deal with, but the that's true. That's we true. still we still <laughs> deal. Oh, that boy just ain't got a shirt on, huh? Nope. nope. What kind of fucking Final Fantasy protagonist cast off bullshit is this? <laughs> He's ready to lifeguard. <laughs> yeah, my dog is ready for Baywatch Nights, but in the fucking <laughs> Super Smash Bros. He is really feeling it. Do you know about Baywatch Nights? I do not. Baywatch Nights is really good. So yeah. they um. 
<laughs> so Baywatch, everyone is familiar with Baywatch conceptually. Uh huh. Um, at some point, they tried to do a spinoff show set at night, which is a terrible idea. What? Yep. But then the the the, the ratings and stuff for the first season were so bad uh, that they're like, all right, we need to revamp this show. And they're like, all right, what's a popular show right now? Uh, X Files. So Baywatch <laughs> nights. Uh, what, what Jerry, Jerry be that sexy Samus. Jerry, next zero game, you sexy suit. zero suit, sexy Samus. Hell yeah! yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so Baywatch, they gave Baywatch Nights a supernatural monster of the week theme. So canonically, in the Baywatch universe, there's like fucking werewolves and vampires and mummies and time. Yeah, there's a psychic. Lou Rawls is in it. What? Yeah, Baywatch what? Nights is fucking fucking wild. That sounds amazing. I kind of want to just watch it just to like. Oh yeah, I mean, don't watch it. It's bad, but what like, Google it for sure. <laughs> okay, so it's more of a, a a read it kind of situation. Here's what I'm not liking about shirtless Shulk so far. If uh -huh. we can just focus in on that. What sure. are you? What kind of boat shoes? Bullshit is. What are you wearing on your feet, my dog? They're Crocs. Actually. Why are you wearing? Just don't wear shoes. They're magic Very Crocs. You're so ready to jump in the pool, except for those dang shoes. <laughs> They're the water shoes. He needs Woo! to do it in character. He could be Zero Suit Sexy Samus in character. Hey, can people add to bits? So, like, one person gave 800 to be Sexy Samus. Could another person toss on 200 to make I it be no in character? I have no problem with that. Sure. Yeah, hey, I totally do. Uh, bunch of nerds playing. Okay, if, if that's 100, if one more person adds 100, then Jerry... But, oh, yeah, oh, oh all right, sorry. My bad. Uh, uh, someone's got to add 200 bits. Uh, I'm not a freaking fish guy. Thank you for the follow. follow. Hell yeah, I'm not a freaking... 100. Yeah. We, so, wait... Uh, have I ever at walked on asphalt in my bare feet? I have. I have walked on asphalt. That sounds like a Bob Dylan ass question. <laughs> have you ever walked on asphalt? Oh yeah, I'm. A, I'm not a freaky fish guy. Wants you to be zero suit, uh, Samus in character. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, not a freaky fish guy. Yeah, thank you. I have walked on asphalt in my bare feet. It's bad. I've skateboarded in bare feet, dog. I just. It's a lot of bad. How the fuck? It's bad. You're such a little badass. That's why he's wearing shoes. No, no, shock. Oh, <laughs> oh bragging. I think the first time I saw Shulk and then saw what Shulk actually was, I was so sad that it wasn't She-Hulk. Oh, I, I was like, oh, hell Same. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, it wasn't. Concrete and asphalt in southern Arizona is not my friend. It's a lot of stuff in southern Arizona is not my friend, dog. <laughs> Doc, who's your favorite comedy? And have you ever Yo, read Doomsday Clock? Who is your Clock? favorite comedy? Oh. And have you read Doomsday Clock? My you favorite, mean favorite comic? I think I think they meant favorite comic. My favorite comic is Maria Bamford. Um, I like comedian. Yeah, uh, I watch a lot of. I'm so I, I work the road a lot, which means I work at a lot of clubs called like Chuckle Fuck and like the <laughs> oh, well. Ha Ha Shack. And just there's a there's a rule uh, off to bed. Hey, good night, Rodolphus. See you, Rodolphus. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of I see a lot of really bad comics. Uh, and I'm like, it's gonna give me like existential dread where I'm like, is that what I'm fucking doing with my life? Am I <laughs> this hack bullshit? Um, uh, Marie Bamford is one of the only comics working today where I have the, is that what I'm doing? But like, that's not what I'm doing in the other way where it's like, oh, holy shit, this is like such an interesting use of the form, such an interesting sort of shift no, of what we ex expect from, yeah. You gotta do, you gotta do the voice, bud. Gotta. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy! Just oh him. great! I thought about a lot of things that you could do. Sure wasn't I, that. That wasn't <laughs> one of them. Hello, Hikari Moon. I think um, Zero Suit Samus drank a pumpkin spice latte and smoked a jewel, a jewel before this. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is jewel rice smoking. Rice is really going to <laughs> ruin my pumps. And it's technological. Oh, it's the same super, color as her suit. Super good. Yeah, the jewel <laughs> just like pops out of you. a fucking <laughs> USB figure. Um, I haven't read Doomsday box. Clock yet. I've been meaning to, but I but I have not. I um, but yeah, Maria Bamford is my favorite comic, followed mm -hmm. by Rory Scovel, then so uh, probably Sean Patton, uh, Jackie Cation, and then I guess and then I guess um, fighting me. Fucking John Mulaney. <laughs> Stop it. Our Jerry say. socks off. No, Jerry is currently wearing socks. I am currently yes. wearing all the socks. But that was a question hands. about Jerry, not about Zero Suit Samus, Jerry. Yeah. Well, I have to. Like, <laughs> but, but Jerry could be wearing socks on his hands if you, uh, if you paid donated the money appropriate for it. amount. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I no, I, I love John Spice. Mulaney as well. Yeah. Uh, Bo Burnham. Burnham's really good. I like Eliza Schlesinger, but she needs to lose the hashtag shit. I'm not, a big, go fan nuts. Of, I'm not a big fan of Eliza. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, uh, Maybe as someone who was raised as a woman, I kind of have more of a connection to how she speaks about women. I get that. That could make sense. 
Oh. It, Joseph Kovitz. Calamity <laughs> Ganon. Dorf. Hell yeah, thanks, next. Joe. Uh, next, Je Jealous wants you to be Calamity Ganondorf. In character. In character. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, thank you, Jealous for the bits. So now, much. I don't know what Calamity Ganondorf is. that just like a, is that like a root and tootin? Yeehaw. Is that like a root and tootin, uh, uh, like prospect or Gan Ganondorf? Honestly, I want that to be it, Jerry. Can you make him Calamity Because I like the idea of it being like a root and tootin, like, yeah. there's gold! <laughs> Stop, Ga Ganondorf. <laughs> Yeah, in um, Yosemite Sam Gannon, hell yeah, yeah baby! Hell yeah. Uh, in Zelda Breath of the Wild, they call him Calamity Ganon, and I don't oh, know why. It. It's just kind of what they call him. Who cries more, Midoriya, or you have to stub your toe? Well, I'm not a freaky fish guy. I'd have to know a lot more about your toe stubbing situation for any sort of answer <laughs> on that. Uh, just so you know, the new, uh, what is it? Yeah, Stream Boss is jealous. Congratulations, oh, jealous. You've done it. You're the boss. You've done it so You're good, my dog. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, Midoriya cries a whole lot. I, I feel like I feel like a little snubbed not being included in this in this in these <laughs> options. Who cries more, Midoriya or you after stubbing your toe, or me after literally so many fucking things, dog? I'm a I'm a I'm a big cry, I'm a big cry boy. Ow! You did it. That hurt me. That hurt. Oh my dash just know about Lanka. Please educate me about Lanka. Apparently, is what is what Resnick would like. Okay, so. There is a part in Zelda Breath of the Wild okay. where Link cross-dresses. Okay. And we had we were kind of new to Twitch streaming at the time, and I was like, oh god, I hope people aren't gonna be like transphobic. I don't sure. know what the fuck our audience is gonna say about this. But it was fine, because it ended up that everyone just kinda wanted to have sex with her and um <laughs> not no I can relate. <laughs> I like I like both versions of I've seen pictures. I like both versions She's of Link. She's very hot. Um and I think that was the best outcome. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy likes boys, Twitch. girls, and envies, dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> it was great. I think that was the moment when I realized, because, like, when you are mentally abused by YouTube's comment section, yeah. like, the, the culture of it for years and years, I don't trust anyone, you know, sure. that has to say anything about anything. I mean, let's not pretend that the internet is not bad. <laughs> yeah. I get that we're all on it right now, but it's bad. But the you internet could, you is could probably, uh, bad. But you could probably agree. Uh, yeah, so, like... When we were new to Twitch streaming, we were developing a new audience, and so I didn't trust anyone. And then when that happened, I was like, I, I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, hell I yeah. think, I think everything's gonna be okay, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's the that's the story about longer. I feel so educated. Thank you. Twink, you know the link. lore. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, Twink Link, baby. <laughs> Twitch is a far better place, far less toxic. It seems like it's so far. It does It does seem a little better. Yeah, because the thing about Twitch is it seems like we never no. really have to block people. Oh. Our, our mods never need to, like, get rid of people. Like, once in a while. Sure. And I would imagine, like, the, the nature of, like, going <laughs> on streams, you only really attract people who are into, like, your brand of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're not playing games because we're super good at games we're playing because right. people like our personality yeah i think well this kind of just goes towards my my bigger theory of who's this picture photon, a photon. oh boy <laughs> i lost uh all right no you I'll had another one who was after it was yosemite okay so technically <laughs> jealous just wanted calamity ganondorf calamity so you don't have to do any sort of crazy voice okay. if jealous <laughs> wants you to do some sort of yosemite sam prospect of ganondorf jealous can let us know mm -hmm. but yes um i don't know if there is a calamity version of ganondorf here but let me see yeah. The well, closest um, we can get in color scheme. You can uh, leave a comment anytime. A stream you gotta go to during I a certain time. Yeah, exactly. Does this mm -hmm. look calamity enough? Or I like that the dark, the, yeah, like scariest look. <laughs> yeah, that kind of looks like calamity Ganon. But calamity yeah, so. Ganon, calamity Ganon, <laughs> calamity <laughs> yeah, is, uh, <laughs> is like smoke and shit. Jealous so. wants you to do a Mario voice for Ganondorf. Oh. Now I think I think that they just meant do Mario's voice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of give that a little <laughs> I'm gonna give that a little tweaky pie. I'm gonna uh -huh. do a little tweaky. I would like I would like your version of like Ganon. I want a, I want an amalgam of characters. I don't right just now. want a straight up Ma Mario. Mm -hmm. Do you want Ganondorf doing a Mario? I would impression? like I would like a Patara fusion of Ganondorf and Mario. Man and Ganondorf and Mario. Ganondorf. Gary. Gary Yorf. Right now. <laughs> Fuck yeah, right now. Ganio. Gan Ganio? How much for Jerry to just do the king voice for everyone? <laughs> Ooh, we don't have that, but that would be some sort of stretch goal. How much, y'all? <laughs> um, you could probably just, uh... Why don't we you why don't we do this? You want if you want to add it as like a couple hundred if you could add that to any other challenge? You know what I mean? Like any Gandario. Yeah, that's probably right, Joe Joporus? Joporus? Oh. Joe Price. 
Gandaria sounds like a fun nickname for for Mario when he's a grandpa. Mike, do you have any ideas on if someone wants to just do a voice? Not this, not pick the character. 200 bits a minute, yeah, no, fuck it, just do that. Hey, thank you for the Vala, Zacko Duo. Hey, thank you very much. Close enough. Yeah. I mean, I tried all the versions of it, dog. I had better be close enough. This chat is usually pretty accepting and chill. Yeah, yeah I agree, that's jealous. what I was gonna say. It's, I think if you got into like a more like hardcore, like very good at the game, no offense, Jerry, uh, <laughs> version, I feel like it would be you'd get a lot. Well, that just kind of goes to my theory that all fandoms are trash. <laughs> yeah, once you get like too into something, then gatekeeping starts. And yeah. Like, well, you're not a real fan because this. And I feel like the only good fandom is uh, serial killers. Yeah. People who are like way into serial killers <laughs> tend to be pretty fucking chill about it. <laughs> Which is very funny. But like as someone with, as someone with like again a, a Steven Universe tattoo and <laughs> a Squirtle tattoo and comic book tattoos, like, <laughs> yeah, my people are bad, dog. <laughs> that was a good Lucario. <laughs> All Lucarios are good Lucarios. Oh. Oh wait, I, I I didn't know which ones were legit or not because we had a. <laughs> oh, we gotta do okay, it again. Yeah, no worries. Sorry, again. jealous. We're gonna do. We're gonna take that from the top. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna, we're so gonna Mario Ganondorf. Let's go. Mm -hmm. let's yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna drop the... that, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> oh yeah! Woohoo! I let's go! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! Okay, good. Mm -hmm. When people say you aren't really a fan, yeah, I hate that. And also, like, when do we start shitting on new fans? <laughs> like, oh, I you? hate that more people like a thing I like. Mm. All new cars oh, yeah. are good boys and girls. So I agree with that, but here's, I mean, this is maybe the most problematic thing I'll ever say. All dogs are boys and all cats are girls. And I just, I can't be convinced otherwise. Like, as again, it's like a very, it's a very left-leaning uh, uh, pansexual uh, slut is how I self-describe. Uh, all dogs are boys and all cats are girls, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm like joking, but I'm also not joking. You know what I'm talking about? And Lucario's a good boy. He's a good, he's a good boy, he gets pets. I think he's a dog. <laughs> Griffin McElroy calls him Sonic the Hedgehog, and I also like that. <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah. Toxic new fans can get fucked, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like the fans that were like blackmailing the creators of Voltron to make their ship canon. That like, was, like that sucks. Awful. Although, fuck Gold Voltron for their barrier gaze bullshit. Yeah, that was that was instantly lost my respect. It just. He's you thought you were yeah. the only one who did that. Who did what? Who did what, King Baymax? 22? <laughs> Can I just say King Baymax? Do I have to specify 22? I'm, I'm kind of new to this whole thing. Oh, usually I would just... Toxic people yeah. in general can get fucked. A lot of times I can't. That's part of the problem. Hey! hey. <laughs> it's your boy Dash. Oh, yes! <laughs> get the hell over here, you stupid sons of a... Sons of a dick. <laughs> Son of a dick? <laughs> yeah. That's that reminds me oh, of my friend Eric Bergstrom. Eric Bergstrom, very funny New York comic, just did a Colbert uh, set. Uh, has one of my favorite one-liners where he says, "Hey, you know who's a real son of a bitch? Uh, bitch Junior." <laughs> <laughs> Most of us just ignore the numbers. They're just our birthdays or birth years and stuff. Good to know. Thank you, Resnick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so usually I just say Resnick. I am an angry person that doesn't get fucked by trying to be nice people. Ah, jealous doesn't sound like you're awful. Sounds like you're a pretty cool, pretty cool person. Jealous is very cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> come over here. Let's go here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Wait, now you're just doing Adam Sandler, dog. <laughs> now you're just Adam Sandler in any number of Adam Sandler films. I forget who pointed this out to me. Um, uh, Tom Hardy in the new Venom movie is just doing Adam Sandler. The voice that Tom Hardy does in the new Venom film is just... It's just I got real self-esteem issues. Same here, dog. Hell yeah. We in this together. Jealous. Talking about all cats are girls and all dogs are boys. Yeah, dog. Oh. Man, I don't care. Cool, I'll call you some some combination of that. But yeah, all, all cats are girls and all dogs are boys. And I feel like this is the issue that can bring the country back together. Just kidding, just kidding, nothing can do that. <laughs> oh, no. Here's the thing. It's the first time I've ever seen you already cool. Ah, oh, thank you, Rattlesnake. You're cool in my book too. Yeah. Hell yeah! Is that a is that a sock thumbs up? Oh, I like that a lot. Oh yeah, that's um something we designed. 
Subscribers I, get that. I, so if you want to subscribe, you can get, you get a, a cool sock thumbs up. up. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to follow me on uh, Twitter, it's just my name. It's at Dash Kwiatkowski. Uh, that's hard to spell, huh? <laughs> at, uh, oh, yeah, tell you what. Go to dashcomedy.com. That's my website. I got all my Twitter and stuff. Actually, is my Twitter not updated? It's not it? updated. <laughs> I switched my Twitter handle. It's still the tro Trollverine. <laughs> it was my, old, my old handle was the Trollverine because I was, used to be a lot meaner on the internet, and yeah. I have sideburns, and that just kind of <laughs> made sense. I um, want to update his site for him, but I need your shit, man. I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give you. I'll, I got to get the logins and stuff. Thank you. I'll, I'll fix it up gotta real find, good. I just got to find it. I got to ask the person who made it for me what yeah. the logins and stuff are. Good game for <laughs> Was that Jorge? Yeah. Hell yeah, Jorge. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, Rattlesnake, check out dnd.cool. It's a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> podcast that I uh, that I am the dungeon master for. Mm -hmm. Jesse's on it. He plays a very cool uh, human fighter. Yeah. Um, and your info's probably on there too if people want to just find yeah. it in there. Oh yeah, if you go to twitter.com slash litmcast, that's our podcast Twitter and you can find me and stuff on there. Um, and everyone's, everyone's Twitters. Yeah. I feel like I was building to something else, but I forgot. <laughs> I feel like here's here's what's here's what's tripping me off. Mm -hmm. tripping, tripping me off. Me Jesus off. Christ. Tripping. That's when you that's when you trip and also come <laughs> at, the same, at the same time. Man, I, I do that every time. <laughs> I can't oh, get off Oh, well. <laughs> uh, well, well, we've really done it, huh? Can you add a D and D command? I want to link people nice to name. it. Nice oh, oh, uh, jealous. Uh, that's a good question. Do we have any like? Mods here that be able to do that because we don't know shit about fuck. That's a hell of a thing to happen. Sure is. Yeah, the old trip and come. The old trip. And, the old, <laughs> the trip, old and trip and come. Yeah, but you got to be ah. careful because if you do it too many times, that becomes the only way you can come. And like, good luck <laughs> explaining that kink to a new partner. <laughs> um, someone was saying I think Jones was talking about having self-esteem issues. I feel you on that. That's like a very big thing. I think a lot of us. I think oh, Sam can do it. Sam, I guess uh, Resnick wants to add uh, a link to the to the D and D podcast. The D and D dot cool, I think, is what you want a commercial for D and D. Come in. Yes. Hey, Cope Boy, welcome and congratulations on your chips, dog. Nice. Hell what kind yeah. of chips? Are yeah. They? What kind of chips? Give us the D. Because if they're like plantain chips, you're gonna have to leave. <laughs> Only that's a joke. Shit here. You can eat plantain chips if you want, but don't tell me because I'll judge you. <laughs> Just don't tell us about it. <laughs> Yeah, you can eat whatever chips you want. Goldfish. Hell yeah, dog. Oh, same. Nice. We got, I got those. We I also got have you. goldfish crackers, but yeah. I'm not eating them on the microphone because I'm not a monster. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is a good Mario. And wavy lays. Wait, hold on. You bought both. Oh. Eat them together. The poor gamer 82. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. D&D &D, cool. So our our D, D podcast is technically called Yeah, thank you. Poor gamer is technically called Lost in the Multiverse. Um, but our website is dnd.cool cuz we're a bunch of cool people. Is it's uh yep. Season 1 is called We Are Not Nerds. Yeah, right? just to let people know that we're not nerds. Just to let you know. It's a recurring theme that happens in season. <laughs> <laughs> what have we eaten today? Uh, uh well, Mike and I got Wendy's earlier. I got Wendy's as well. I introduced Mike to the four for four deal that he was not aware of. Yeah, I feel I feel like I've done I feel like I've done irreparable damage to Yeah, yeah he's nodding. But, but last not, night you um used the goldfish actually to do something for us. Last night, yeah, so my my signature dish or one of my signatures I like your boy likes to cook. It's dash your dish. boy. I'm your boy Dash. Uh I don't know why I say that. I don't know where it's I your got boy. that from. It's your boy Dash. It's like That's a me. YouTube Twitch dash. funny thing. Yeah, I guess, but I don't watch any of that. <laughs> Um, it fits your personality. I I, think. It does, I think. Um, your I might have got it from Rosa. I might have got it from from Rosa. Yeah. Uh, everyone's a nerd for something. Yeah, dog. Again, I got a. This is a giant Squirtle tattoo. I'm, yeah. I'm, I don't know if anyone can see. I don't know if that's. But it's like. Trust Xavier Woods for New Day. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> Who? Who? I haven't watched the main roster since WrestleMania was so fucking anti-Asian racist. Um, but New Japan Pro Wrestling is good as hell. And uh, and Ring of Honor is pretty good. And uh, Impact needs some work if we're being totally real. Um, what was that? What did I say? Goldfish. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the things. Keep that nipple hidden. I do. I do keep it hidden. I'm very good. <laughs> Listen, when you get a big, cool tattoo on your chest, um, the first thing you should learn is how to cover it cover your nips up when you show that tattoo to people mm -hmm. um don't don't sh don't show or spray those I'm not nips. trying to show that i'm not trying to show these nips off dog. <laughs> um, they're quite impressive <laughs> uh but what 
impressive nips. Well, now we've gotten to a sure. <laughs> um, I, I made a thing, so I like to I like to make a, a version of a of a, like a panko pon, panko crusted chicken, but instead of panko, I crush up goldfish crackers. And I do a fried chicken that's uh, goldfish cracker battered fried chicken. It's so good. It's real good. Oh. It's a signature dash dish. Mm -hmm. If we can't spray Jerry's nips, can we sp spray Dash's nips? <laughs> okay, there's a joke. I don't. Game. <laughs> yeah, I, that sounds amazing. It's yeah, it's good as hell. I'll try it out. It's, it's real good. It's so good. Like, I was like, Jesus Christ. Here's the trick, though. What's important is because a lot of people, when you do the chicken, you make the chicken tendies, you just dip them in the egg and the flour and then the thing. Oh, I, those are delicious. Holy they, crap. I'm glad you like them, Jerry. Sorry, I just zoned out. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about the I'll, I'll do I'll do a bowl full of melted butter and I'll dip them in the melted butter first mm -hmm. just so the chicken really has a chance to really absorb. absorb. I keep looking at this one I'm talking about. I should be looking at the camera, huh? Yeah. Just so the chicken really has a chance to like absorb the butter all up and then you'd put that in the egg and then you put that in the flour and then you put it into your crust and really just like kind of press down this is a cooking show now y'all hey. and then really you put, it, you put it in there and just really make sure you really make sure uh it's you got a good you got a good coat going on um don't be afraid to sort of like really sort of press the goldfish stuff in or whatever you're battering your chicken with and um, i really want to try like a medley with like with like lay's potato chips uh and like and like maybe some pringles yeah or like the... try flavored goldfish i think we were also talking about that might be Tasty. Yeah, different flavors of goldfish would be good as hell in there too. <laughs> Ooh. He's a fish. Uh, just a dash, cooking with dash. I used to, so I'm a sobriety <laughs> boy now. I'm six years sober, but I used to get very drunk and cook things. And I always wanted to do like a web series that was like cooking with the uh, drunken gourmet. The only time I've ever been kicked out of a party. Did I tell you about that? Did I tell you about the only time I ever got yes. kicked out of a party? Yes. It's uh, a good story. Yeah. So I, someone invited me to a party, and so I only knew the person who invited me and, like, not any of the people running the party or anyone else who lived there. And I got very, very drunk. I got drunk to the degree that I was like, I could rap battle, um, <laughs> which is a level of drunk that I, that I used to get. Um, and just spoiler alert, I could not rap battle. <laughs> um... But I was very, very drunk, and someone was in the kitchen, and they were trying to cook stuff, and they were doing just a real bad job. And I was like, oh, come on, dog, let me, I'll do that. And I, and I did it, and I cooked the thing. But then people kept handing me more things from the fridge to cook, and I was very <laughs> drunk. And I was like, all right, I'll cook this. And I was doing a bunch of cool stuff. So, like, they had, like, a Lean Cuisine pizza, and I fried it on the, on, the, on the griddle, and I, like, fried an egg and put it in there and folded it over with a bunch of spices. So it was, like, a Lean Cuisine egg uh, calzone type thing, and I cut that. Into into like little sandwich bites, and so I was doing this really good, and everyone was fucking super into it because I was cooking all this cool stuff for this party. And then someone who lived there came up and was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm cooking." And like, did you eat all of our food? And I was like, "No, I cooked all of your food. They ate all of your food, uh, and then That's they made amazing. me leave." And I wasn't welcome in that house any longer. It's such a funny story. In my though. defense, I made that party good as hell. Yeah, right? No, they should be yeah. thanking you, yeah. actually. Um, it's very funny because when you hear like, oh, I got kicked out of a party, you're like, oh, what fucked up shit did you do? <laughs> you just cooked for a bunch of people. I cooked for everybody. Jealous, yeah. No, I mean, I was correct. I was like, I was also, I could not rap battle. I just thought that I could. <laughs> um, mostly I tried to make raps about Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> Is, yeah. <laughs> Should have said you're welcome. Yeah, I probably should have said that. Mm. Um. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't like eating all of it. It was just whatever was in the fridge. It was like, they had more. They could have got. I feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that sentence started and how it ended. It's just like, it's not my fault, too. Yeah, it was probably my it fault. Was, no, it was for sure. It wasn't the Poke Rap. I do remember. We were just talking about that, too. Yeah. Um, here's the trick about the Poke Rap that I love more than just about anything. They recorded the Poke Rap before Americans knew what the Pokemon were. So they just hired two rappers to get in a recording booth and were like, here, rap these nonsense words. <laughs> here, cast this spell. Uh, yeah, so it's just like, you just imagine people are like, what the fuck do any of these words mean? Uh, you need a guy like Dash, so eating way more than ramen noodles. Hey, dog, you can make ramen noodles good as hell, too. Here's here's the trick. Uh, when you make your ramen, so when you, you put it in the, when it starts, the, when the water's boiling, you put the noodles in, crack an egg in there, and let that just boil in, and once it's, like, mostly boiled, then use your chopstick or whatever to, to sort of split it up into pieces. Uh, you can toss in, um, sriracha. You can, I'll do, like, sliced veggies I'll throw in there. Sometimes at the beginning of the week, I'll get, like, a pork loin, and I'll fry that and put it into slices, and then that way I can just add a couple slices of pork stuff 
to my ramen over the course of the week as I as I uh, uh, eat ramen over the course of the week. And then also, here's the other trick. One slice of American cheese. And it doesn't sound like it would be good, but throw in a slice of American cheese on your ramen and let it mix or melt a little and then mix it in. And your, uh, your ramen gets like real, real, real rich and it's really good. And if it's too rich for you, instead of that, you can also just use like a slice of butter. You can toss some butter in there. It's mostly just... Dash Jesse talking. Yeah, <laughs> our, boy, our boy Jerry is just doing boy his best. Jerry. It's your boy Jerry. It's Jerry. It's what your is boy. Up, YouTube? It's your boy. What is up, Twitch YouTube? What is up, Twitch Nation? <laughs> if you'd like to play as any characters, you can totally donate for that. Yeah, donate. Let's get them prices up there. Let's see what you can get. Uh, sure, shirtless Shulk. We saw that. He has real bad shoes, and I hate it. Um, <laughs> choose Jerry's character. You could uh, choose the character he plays as, and if you add in some extra, um, can I do a show? I could do a show, but there'd only be like five episodes, dog, because I, I don't cook that many different things. I was literally just thinking, like, the Just a Dash is fucking great. And there's an episode oh, that's of. A good name uh, for it. Yeah, right? That's very good. There's. Um, I'm working on my cooking show, right? That yeah. I told you about. And. I that's don't know anything true. about ramen, but I it's a show about cheap meals, so I want to do a fucking ramen episode. Oh, hell yeah. So I might have you on just for that yeah, episode that. and have like fun. a segment called Just a Dash, where you like fucking help me with that, because I have no idea about ramen. I can like, do that. Yeah. Sock hands next round, hell yeah, Fuck Jelly! Yes! Oh, okay. yes! Yeah, baby! Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think so. You can take yeah. a look. It's in a book. <laughs> God, you gotta go to jail now, dog. <laughs> hold on, wait. No, hold on. Wait. It's fair. Hold on. No. <laughs> hold on. Yeah. No, hold on. I. Jesse, I just went on. I just went on news.com uh -huh. where news is found, you and you there. have to go to jail, bud. Oh man. For that. You know. For the out of jail. That's fair. Sorry, uh, everybody. Sock hands. <laughs> Gotta sock it to him. Oh yeah. Show us those, those lovely hands. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much, Jealous. <laughs> right. Oh, Baymax found me on Twitter now. Thank you, Baymax. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, Empole. <laughs> Y'all. You're, so, you're so sweet. Oh, my God. This is horrible. <laughs> I hope you're ready for I hope you're ready for angry tweets about me being queer and Asian. <laughs> if you had to describe my Twitter presence entirely, it's angry queer and Asian. Oh, God. This is horrible. <laughs> no control whatsoever. I like Isaiah's, like, face. Yeah. Oh, Isaiah? Is that... Oh, hopefully it's hey not Jerry, why are you doing so bad right now? <laughs> is it the socks on your oh, hands? No. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my God, this is gonna be very funny. Oh, oh. God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, he shot you with an arrow. Oh no. The angry, B and the A. Angry is happening. In that order, um, I'd say the angry is more of like a general category, and then the queer and Asian kind of fork <laughs> off of that like some sort of tournament bracket. Oh God. Um, they're very related. Uh. This guy. Yeah, Mike is. Oh God! Mike is saying that this guy sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here, oh, you can't cook much. Come on. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. All right. Maybe I'll consider at least like tweeting about it or doing like a little like a YouTube thing. I could, I could do something, or I could just, I could just uh, come Ugh, help you out with your thing. Yeah. That'd yeah. be fun. Mm -hmm. Um, Mario versus Lonk. That is the age-old question. I've started doing a thing where I just oh. refer to how are you beating it with socks on your hands? <laughs> it's a lot of effort. <laughs> Jay's oh god! <laughs> I have to like exaggerate every single movement of my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerry's got an, <laughs> Jerry's got an exaggerated thumb right now, <laughs> y'all. Watch out for Jerry and his exaggerated thumb. Jerry and his exaggerated thumb is the name of my favorite Scott no. band. Um, yeah, I would say. Well, I mean, there's a lot of those those issues. Here's where here's where we take this turn, y'all. Those issues are extremely uh, 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 fucking connected, being queer and Asian and angry about it. You get a lot of stuff. Uh, fucking white, white cisgendered gay culture is super comfortable being racist against Asian people, which get fucked. Uh, yeah, you get a lot of like, a lot of like, uh, a lot of like uh, dating profiles where people are just very comfortable being like no Asians, which is a shit ass thing. Um, and also, being queer and Asian means everyone just assumes you're a fucking bottom all the time. Which, uh, only like, only sometimes. Listen. Come on. One, one specific boy I'll bottom for, and that's it. Toad for Smash 2021. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm on board. Time to switch to oven mittens. Hey, we should add another tier that's way up. That's like oven, Got him. oven mittens. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he fucking has, oven mitts would be like He has impossible. socks on his feet and his hands. He's a multi sock boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's the sockiest boy in the land. Wait, <laughs> socks and oven mitts at the same time? 
We weren't thinking that, well, but now no we reason. are. <laughs> <laughs> now you just gave us a great idea. 2,000 bits for, 2000 bits? for socks and... Uh, 2,000 bits for socks and oven mitts. You heard it here first. How is it folks? impossible to play with oven mitts well, on you're gonna stuff. You're going to fucking well, find out, If anyone Jerry. can do it, it's you, Jerry. Jerry, I want you to know that I believe in you. Okay. I do not. But it'll be fun as hell. Jerry, this couch 50% believes in you. 50% of this couch thinks you can do it, bud. All right, I'll take 50%. 50% yeah. is a good percentage. Oven socks. Oven He's socks. Boy, that's... He's in good game. I haven't played sock hands. <laughs> <laughs> he left. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, that was my all. Oven socks. Why, that's my favorite Scott band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's sleepy. Ethan, why are you sleepy? Jesse Ethan does is, a... Ethan is sleepy. Jesse does a great toad impression. I haven't done it in a while. Let's see. <clears throat> I know nothing about Just toad. in case. Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, y'all. Was it 2000 you said, Mike? 2000 mm -hmm. bits. Socks and oven mitts are just socks oven and oven mitts. Gonna be a lot for How can I fit the socks in the oven? Okay. You're the one who said <laughs> it. Yeah, if it doesn't work, then just oven mitts. Just oven mitts? Okay, okay. just oven mitts. Oh. Was, Was that, that toad getting a blowjob oh. in the fan fiction that I've written? Yes. <laughs> Huh? Yeah! Oh, Mario! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, did you just slash fake Mario and Toad? Because fucking hell yeah, Absolutely. Dog. Hell yeah. You think yeah. they haven't fucked? You see their chemistry? Listen, I, if you give me two fictional characters, I can give you a justification as to why I think that they fucked. Larry and Mario. Larry and Mario? I mean, what you think all that space in that, in that, uh, in that floaty thing is for? Fuck it. <laughs> For, for uh, having Roadhead. Some, having some sick ass. What did we decide? Mario is taking a blowjob or someone just sucking on his head. <laughs> Maybe there's a couple people there. Maybe Max? Maybe all this stuff is happening. Oh, yeah. And Waluigi just shows up, just like usual. Yeah, Waluigi just shows up and is like, I'm just here for tennis. That's my king. Mm -hmm. Bacon, Bacon person. person. 62. Hello, Bacon. Goku and Tingle. Ooh. All right. For Smash? What? <laughs> no, no Goku and Tingle, why they fucked. Yeah. All right. Let's get him a second, you dare me. All right. So, <laughs> you got this thing where... So, okay, Goku has become so... Goku and Mario is the left-leaning pansexual. Is left. I think Mario... He's a Switch for sure, we decided. Yeah. Mario's a Switch. Mario for um, Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Also, this um, is my favorite level because it's Yoshi's Woolly World or whatever. Okay, the fuck hold it is. on. You, you can't overload me with too many of these at once. I gotta start with Goku and Tingle. <laughs> Goku fascinated with Goku fascinated with the uh, with the idea of other universes and fighting the greatest fighter. Um, shows up, you know, in the in the in the, the high rule. I guess he's just there, and uh, and Tingle Tingle uh, is able to sort of. Uh, convince Goku that what fighting means in Hyrule is just banging, I guess. Uh, and they sort of Goku knows what's up because you know he's he plays he plays a dummy, but he's he's ready for that hot hot tingle bod. And they do this cool thing. So what happens is Goku's like, oh, they're like, you know, they're gonna have this like this fight, right? And Tingle's like, well, let's relax in the hot tub first. Goku is getting tingly, and Tingle's in the hot tub already, and you just see him torso up, and Goku comes. To, and Goku's like, well, Tingle, I can't. I didn't bring any swim trunks. And Tingle just looks at him. He's like, neither did I. And then the rest of it, you just kind of, you just kind of fill in, you know, your own stuff. That's that's on you. I can't. All I can do is show you the door. You have to walk <laughs> through it. Uh, Beast Boy from OG Teen Titans. Does Goku go Ultra Instinct for fucking? Yeah, yeah, he does for sure. If he can. Which like, if he can't, there's no judgment. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Other than Ultra Instinct, you know what I mean? We define, I think we define sex as only Ultra Instinct, right? But that's not fair. Sex would be so many things. Uh, Beast Boy from OG Teen Titans and Pearl from Steven Universe. I'm going to say no on that one just because Pearl doesn't like boys. I think that that's, that's I think that's an important distinction. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ship two characters who I don't think, who I don't think uh, Have would be into it. But I think what's going on there is they do become buds because they both got all the shape-shifting thing. And I think they have mm -hmm. a very, they've got a very like, because I think Beast Boy's got a lot of the sort of like the steven -y vibes of like just being very sort of very mm -hmm. well-meaning and being sort of like very eager. And I think Pearl's going to get excited about having like a steven -y bud who can do some shape-shifting. Yeah. Do you guys think we were going to talk about slash fiction today? Yes or no? <laughs> I, it's always on the table. <laughs> yeah, it's always um, on the table with your boy. It's me, your boy, your boy's dash. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, is it gonna happen today? It could. Yeah, <laughs> that's <did>. fair. 
I forget. Was there was there a challenge for this one? Mm, are you just really playing a game? Yeah, All right. Playing. What do we got? Uh, someone someone give Jerry a sick ass challenge. He's he's run out of sick ass challenges. Someone, someone donate make him two thousand bits. Two thousand bits. These fuckers. Oh come on. I would love that. Doesn't Pro hate shape shifting? Does she hate it? She does it in the comic book. She like does. She hates in, eating. Well, she hates eating, but like she in the comic she shifts into a bird and stuff. Or is she just doing that just for Steven? Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember her hating shape shifting. I just remember she's not as like into it as Amethyst does. Mm. That's a good point though, Rattlesnake. Uh, Barry and Videl. Which Barry? <laughs> Barry from Super. Wait, was I don't remember Barry. Was there a guy named Barry in Super? <laughs> she does that out of necessity. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I feel like someone with the eagerness of a beast boy who's sort of against Steven, he could like, I feel like she could get into it. Um, episode, the filler episode bears. Oh, I think I skipped that filler episode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I skipped the filler episodes of Dragon Ball Super. I live in my shame. <laughs> Uh, Super was good as hell, though. As someone I, who mostly does the talking during streams, this is nice to just let someone, like, <laughs> I've, I've become the Jerry of this conversation where I can, like, tune into what I feel like talking about. Do you guys ever just dream about cheese? Oh, I told you all about this. I live with a very weird person. Uh, I live with a very, very weird, with a very weird person, and they want to start a cheese blog. Or they, like, bought the website domain, and, like, and they got, uh, they got the website design and stuff. That and they, sounds reasonable. Well, they keep mm -hmm. buying expensive... Isn't all DBZ filler. You take that, DBS Super. You take that back, <laughs> Rattlesnake. Super's really good. They have a fan. They have a whole fan fiction universe. Uh, they have a whole fan fiction universe in Super. I thought that was a delightful. It was delightful. Um, I think that I think Universe is it seven or six? Which is the one that has has Lady Saiyans? I think I see. I feel like that's a fan fiction. All the all the universes have like a gimmick or a theme, and I feel like the gimmick of that one is fan fiction. Um, so the two scenarios I come up with you shit all I wasn't over trying tonight. to shit on it I just don't I don't know the character very well enough I don't know the character six has lady scenes yeah six is the I feel like this this uh, the setting for six is is fan fiction I feel like that's sort of the thing I wasn't trying to shit on it jealous I just I don't remember who Barry was and I, I don't want to give you a half I don't want to give you a half-assed I don't want to give you a half-assed one I just feel like if I'm gonna do it I want to do it I want to do it upright his word is law you know what I'm saying he believes in it <laughs> what your word if you endorse something, you gotta be behind it, 100%. You can't half-ass. All right. <laughs> okay, sure. He's not gonna half-ass some 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 Why would sexual and scenarios. Champa? Oh with your damn. Oh, Videl and Champa. So like, all right. So what I'm thinking <laughs> with Videl and with Videl and Champa. Um, let's go. Let's see the Barry and Videl question. We Barry wears the same in outfit and talks like Gohan. Yeah, but then we've, I feel like then we've gotten into some weird, I feel like then we've gotten into some weird Revenge of the Nerds, like, uh, consent issues if, if Barry is just pretending to be Saiyan the whole time. That's true. Yeah. Um, Videl and Champa, so what I got, what I got, what I got for that one is that I feel like, I feel like Videl has been, like, so sort of spoiled by just Gohan being, you know, fucking buff as hell and, and good to look at, but sometimes, sometimes you just have one of those days where you just want, the opposite of everything you know, you know what I mean? Like, Videl's <laughs> only ever been with, like, buff-ass dogs, and then when she sees Chamber for the first time, it's one of those things where you're like, gross, but also maybe. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, other universe, 8-Bit Mickey. We're talking about, we're talking about characters fucking. Yeah. Uh, oh, Mike hello, says hi, Mickey. Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Yeah. Hey, um, Mickey, Mike says hi. Okay, good. <laughs> finish the song. <laughs> that's, that's the song, that's it. Finish. I'm just, finished. I'm finished uh, well, with my parody song. All right. It was a really good parody song. <laughs> I think yeah, Weird Al is going to be ringing your phone. Ringing your phone. Ringing the phone. Mickey says hi back, Mike. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's this thing where, like, and Champa, like, Champa's, Champa's, been, Champa's been around the block a couple times. He knows what that look looks like. He knows what that means. And so it's one of those things where he's, like, he's not, like, over flirting because you know he's, he's playing it a little bit cool and then you know different universe different rules like who you know he knows what's gonna happen in the, uh, when Videl shows up in, in, in universe 6 and then uh, and then yeah I'm not gonna fill in the graphic details because I'm no not the champ that would be terrible I'm not I'm not doing nope uh, champa uh, fat beers who also have ramen so I relate you're talking about the cheese 
I was talking about the cheese blog, huh? My roommate, one of my roommates decided to start a cheese blog, so they bought a web, they got a website design, they bought a domain name, they bought a very expensive cheese board, and they bought a bunch of expensive cheese. And the reason they didn't launch the cheese blog is <laughs> they couldn't figure out anything to say about these very expensive cheeses other than good or bad. <laughs> which is a cheese blog that I would fucking visit. Absolutely. No, I would love that. Just like high res photos of cheese, uh -huh. and it's like good or bad. <laughs> oh, 50. Proud of Jerry. Resnick is proud of you, Jerry. Oh, thank you. You destroyed the hard version of the Beetle Bitch race way faster than anyone could have expected after the easy versions hell many patron streams ago. Hell yeah. Would Vados ever have sex with Hercule? Ooh. I mean, I feel like in this very slutty fanfiction universe <laughs> that I'm crafting, um, I'm crafting for you My all. Goodness. Yes, I think so. Um... In terms of how, see, but I feel like that's just sort of the other, the same thing the other way, where Vados just sees Hercule and is like disgusting, hate it, completely loathe this person. <laughs> but like you know, sometimes that does it for you in a very special kind of way. Mm -hmm. Hail Satan, hell yeah, <laughs> hell, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, dog, hell yeah, I get hell it. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. 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 That was not the joke no. I was making, but I appreciate you. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Hey, someone give Jerry a fucking challenge. Throw those prices up there. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. No, I'm gonna throw the prices up there. Throw Two thousand the bits, up. and he'll wear the dang he'll wear the dang oven mitts, y'all. Don't you want to see? <laughs> he'll wear the dang oven mitts just yeah. for you. Yes. Do you want to see? Him, do he'll wear see Jerry them for the love of. I don't himself. think I'll ever be able to win with those. Oven he'll wear, mitts. and it's the thing is, it's like it's like, is he wearing them for you or for money? It's for money, but you well, know, for kind of for you. Well, yeah, for my protection. <laughs> Always wear protection because the game's too hot. Ah, oh, you know it's too fire. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jerry's game is too fire. Fire. Need some oven mitts. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, God. This again. <laughs> you don't like that voice? Oh, God. Fight. It just kind of, it just, and then it's just, it's just you say it and it's out there in the universe and we just have to deal with that now. Yeah, you just got to deal with this voice. Now that you, I now that you got this voice? Challenge mode pairing <laughs> anime, <laughs> Pikachu, and a loaf of bread. I mean, that one's pretty easy, I feel. Anime, Pikachu, and a loaf of bread. He Pikachu's. <laughs> Pikachu would shit on ketchup? Well, Pikachu's getting the thing is like Pikachu's getting all horned up. Mm. Pikachu's just get real horned up, and you can tell because he's got the this, his cheeks turn. You know the thing where the cheeks get all like electricy. Electricy because yeah. when Pikachu has too much charge built up it's and isn't penis. able to discharge, mm -hmm. the, the you get the you get the cheeks up. So I Pika know all Pikachu about gets real that, horned okay. up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu gets real horned up, and then what ends up happening is Pikachu's not trying to. You know, Pikachu's like has very very concerned with uh, how they. Appear and everything. Hey, where are you going, Mike? Mike, hey, Mike where are you going? Mike, where We're are talking you going? about Pikachu's discharge. Mike, I'm talking about Pikachu getting all horned up. What's uh, up? <laughs> you know what? You probably he's made gone. you probably made Mike too horny. Fair. Oh, so man. he's going to yeah. take care of that. That's fair, 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 fair. Pikachu gets all horned up mm -hmm. um, and is like trying to figure out what can I do. <laughs> you can't. There aren't any like. He doesn't have time to like go meet a new Pokemon <laughs> and lay down some game. But they're traveling with Brock, and Brock does have a bag full of assorted foods and snacks mm -hmm. and. The only thing in, the only thing in Brock's bag that has like the right size, is a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. and so Pikachu, Pikachu uh, uses Iron Tail to carve out the appropriate to just do some sculpting, <laughs> to just do some sculpting on this loaf of bread. Makes mm -hmm. sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and then and then Pikachu just goes to fucking town, dog. Maybe like yeah. Pikachu he's, just goes to fucking town. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Jerry. Sometimes you get real horned up. Yeah. He's bread gonna, and butter. <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna carve a, a butt into the shape, you know, from the bread. All right. Sculpt it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? David Cage and a man. Who's David Cage? David Cage. Horrible. Is the guy that I told you about who makes Detroit Becomes Human and Heavy Rain and oh. uh, those games. Well, Jesse, I feel I like this one's on you. Okay, cool. Real challenge: David Cage and a mannequin. It's not a challenge. David Cage fucks a mannequin in the. <laughs> Oh. In the intro to Indigo Prophecy. Just does it. I know it's not shown on screen. I know it is. But you can see it. You can see it in his eyes. You understand? You play the tutorial. It's Indigo Prophecy. You think, that man definitely wants to have sex with that mannequin. It's not even a question. Yeah. That's fair. He's got to look. You know what I'm saying? You see that mannequin, you're like, hmm. Sexy mannequin. I don't, but David Cage does. Just jumped on the head. That is what. Yeah, good. We're glad, Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that's what I wanted. <laughs> uh, oh, angry, angry queer stuff, angry Asian stuff. Give us Kaiba and Bridged Brock. You really want that, huh? 
So are you ready no, for- Wait, is this a bridge Kaiba or is it canon Kaiba? Because- Hey, can I, can I, can I say a shameful thing? Sure. I haven't watched any Yu-Gi-Oh. Any Yu-Gi-Oh? Really? I haven't watched any Yu-Gi-Oh. Not even any at all. Not even a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Not even a little bit? A little teeny bit? Not little even tiny a teeny morsel? I don't know any... I don't... You mean like you've never bit? seen filler episodes of, of nope. Yu-Gi-Oh? Nope. I've never seen any Yu-Gi-Oh. You even mean like you've never seen the movies? Episodes? I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game. I've never watched an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! We need to talk. I'm, so, I'm sorry, About everybody. About Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm just feeling kind of betrayed. Yeah, no, I get it. Top enemy. Whatever the hell. Top ten called. anime betrayals. <laughs> <laughs> Dax saying he hasn't seen fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't seen Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, Chow's doing a Cyberman. Dog, that doesn't even that doesn't you don't even need the setup for that. That's just straight to fucking. That's just straight to fucking, and at the end they both explode. <laughs> so Kaiba. You're more of a human than the rest of us, you can still be saved. Kaiba's an <laughs> asshole and the only oh, oh, okay, so you're okay, so you're no more Smash Let's Teach Dash will play Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> We're fixing this now, Duel Links, let's go! Time to duel! I played Legend of the Five Rings. Fucking get at me, nerds. Any of y'all play that? Any of y'all know what Legend of the Five Rings was? It's that Sonic game. Nope. The Wii. <laughs> yeah, it was the Sonic game where there are only five rings. Where the entire game, Sonic, and if you pick one of them up and you land on a spike, it fucking flies away! It's a very quick game. It's real hard. 800 to be a true waifu pilot. Thank Thank you, Jealous. Hell yeah. He's a true waifu, Palutina. Now the question is, does anyone want to toss in 200x on top of that to make Jerry do that voice? That's the question. Because I've never, I have no idea what he would do for that. But if anyone wants to toss in 200 bits to make him do it in character. I believe <laughs> you that he's trying to fuck that dragon. Here's the thing. I mean, here's the thing about fucking dragons. Maybe fuck dragons. I'm not a scaly at all. But like, if you're trying to fuck some dragons, dragons, well, here's here's what I got to say about dragons. Mm -hmm. Of all the, of all the, I feel like the main issue with fucking, the main, yeah, it's actually 200 if, if we want, if we want Jerry to be the voice of. Palatina. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the main issue with fucking any sort of animals is that they can't give consent. I think that's like the gross part about it. Mm -hmm. So, but dragons are smarter than us, right? Look at Smaug. Smaug, Smaug. has his Smaug. whole Smaug. Uh, he's voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch, who I don't find sexy or attractive at all, but would still totally bang because who wouldn't bang <laughs> Benedict fucking Cumberbatch? Um, I, I can't. I don't think you wouldn't bang Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't think. He's got such a weird face. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, yeah, no, like, no, normally, but I like it. It's weird in a way that I'm into. Normally, I'm all for interesting looking people. Like, sure. I love Kristen Ritter and Rami Malik. Okay. But Benedict Cumberbatch, I just, I don't think I, I, I don't see anything. I'd, I'd he looks like an alien. I'd fuck that weird boy. I would <laughs> fuck perfect, perfect weird Andro threesome for your boy Dash, Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> and uh, what's his name? And what? Smaug. And Smaug. No, that's the same guy. <laughs> Um, 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 I can't think of him. He's in the, that. He's in that terrible. Uh, he's in Jupiter Sending. He's the I create life. That oh, guy. Um, Eddie um, Redmayne. Um, Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne's hot as fuck. <laughs> he's a good looking guy. Eddie Redmayne. Hot as fuck. Um, I like his freckles. He's yeah, interesting. I like like, I like he's like a full grown man, but like he has characteristics like a young boy. He well, that sounds weird when Not you say like that. Not like a young boy. Like a like a college aged man. <laughs> Jesse says, no batches have come for him. Fair enough. No batches have come. Chris Helmsworth is the only man I would fuck. And let me tell you, and let me tell you, that's a good that's a good pull. It's a good pick. Chris Helmsworth is good as hell. Mm -hmm. List of famous people who I would want to do sexy business with. Um, uh, Finn Balor. Uh, top of the list, easy. Finn exactly. Balor. He's a pro wrestler and the hottest and the hottest and the hottest pro wrestler in the land. And it's not even like an abs thing, but he does have delightful abs. It's more of like a face. <laughs> and he's just got like a really hot Irish accent. Mm. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I can yeah. Yeah, real good. Uh number two. Uh Kazuchika Okada, former uh, IWGP heavyweight champion, New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's the sexiest boy. I just want him to be mean to me. <laughs> I just want Kazuchika Okada to be mean to me, wearing his big Wearing his big golden Ryan Reynolds and NPH. Those are some good pulls too. Chris Pine. These are y'all. All, all your fans have Hell like yeah. pretty good taste in like hot boys. <laughs> you got good picks, guys. Good pulls for hot boys. Good hot boy pulls, y'all. You get to be Palutina now. You oh, be Palutina. Palutina. No one is throwing an extra two hundred to make you do the voice. But I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. I feel like if they add that at some point, you can switch into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. think that's fair. So yeah. like Chris it. Pine, no question. Chris Pine is he's a he's a hot boy. Mm -hmm. I get it. 
I've always like had a thing for Ryan Reynolds, even though like it's one of those things. You know I what? I'm gonna talk about something a little personal right now. Um, since coming out as a dude and transitioning, I found that I'm kind of attracted to some men. Here you go. You know? Oh, nice. Two hundred bits. You there got you a good go. Palatina's voice. Yeah, but it's weird because like I, it's one of those things where when I dated men when I was in a female body, everything was like fucking wrong and I felt gross. But now once I'm transitioning into a man, I feel more comfortable and now I'm like, oh, I think I am kind of attracted to some guys, but it's still very much leaning women. I'm like 99% yeah. women, you know? I think everyone's like, sort there's of some guys that I like, and Ryan Reynolds is one of them. I've always kind of had a thing for Ryan Reynolds. I think everyone's sort of on a spectrum somewhere. I think that that, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ryan Reynolds just seems like he'd be fun to hang out with afterwards. Yeah, yeah, no, he seems like, very I feel fun. like the fucking would be, would be medium good to good, and then the afterwards hang would be fun, and I feel like he'd like, I feel like he'd like, he'd do like a cute thing where he like, walks into the kitchen just in, mm -hmm. in like some boxers, and he brings you back like a snack. Yeah. yeah, yes, I can totally see Ryan Reynolds. Every dude's <laughs> What's up? Gay. Hold on, is this nice boy just sitting here while you stand and try to figure this voice out? Because that's very good. Uh -huh. Reflect! Oh, there we God. go. Okay. Hiya! It's very hot. Every person had a lot of friends. Did yeah. they just die? Sam, that's that's yeah, actually that's yeah. interesting. I've actually have a, a lot of a lot of friends of mine who are trans too also would like were interested in one group of people and then been become like, oh, actually, I'm more interested. I think I think part of it is like as you become more comfortable with your own sexuality, whatever that means, as you become more comfortable expressing who you actually are, um, I think it lets you sort of figure out more sort of what what you're interested in in general in other people too. Even me, like I didn't, I used to I used to ID as straight, and at some point I realized I Reflect. you had a bone. <laughs> you always had a bone until you did your Palatina voice. Reflect. Reflect. Hold on, is Palatina a Pokemon named Reflect? Because that's all you're saying so oh, far. Oh yes, Reflect. Oh, because oh, that doesn't make God. it better. It doesn't make it better. Oh, just the worst. Reflect. Oh, I hate this. Oh. I hate everything oh, about this. Oh yes. Oh okay. no. Get one, over of those, here, one of those trip, one of those trip, <laughs> Jerry's tripping off. I am going to kill you. Let's here comes the spike. Oh, yes. <laughs> here comes the spike and um, here comes me. Oh god! It doesn't use help the to Hell yeah! <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, and I then for a while I ID as bi, and then I realized that that wasn't super accurate either. I mean, I get, some people define bi as just being attracted to everyone, and I get that. I feel like bi implies a sort of a very sort of uh, binary thinking that I don't agree with. So now I just say pan because uh, because imagine being so boring as to care what genitals a person has. Um, no, I don't know. I, I think that like, but also part of that, along with like figuring out what I'm more comfortable being, has allowed me to sort of really express. I'll switch. I'll sort of have a very mask side and have a very femme side, and I'll sort of dip in between both of those. Like I'm, I'm seeing a guy right now who brings out a much more femme side of me that I that I'm with anybody else. Um, and it's just sort of like I feel like every relationship with every person is going to be different, and sort of the person you are with different people uh, is going to reflect that. Who gets hit by Palatina? Um, well, the guy from just now got hit Jay. by Palatina. Jay, Jay. Hit by Jay. Yeah. playing. Who was Jay playing? Marth. 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 Jerry, I had a boner until you did a Palatina voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, <baby. laughs> Which is great because that means oh, that yeah. you got a boner just from him playing as her. Like, Resnick requests fantasy. that somebody make Jerry voice DK uh, only to do the gold banana thing from Donkey Kong 64. Mm, that's very good. Hey, Sun God, how you doing? What up? Hey, Sun God, I'm Dash. You don't know who I am. I think it'd be great if some people are just tuning in for the first time. They're like, oh, it's uh, Mike, Jerry, and Jesse. Cool. <laughs> Spyro is here as well. Reflect. Hell yeah. Reflect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, reflect. Something upsets me about Mario fighting a robot. I don't know why. I guess it's just like the goofy style. Hey Spyro, style. I'm Dash. My name is Dash. I'm a stand-up comic. I uh, run the D&D podcast that also features Jesse, yeah. and I'm friends with these these dumb boys. <laughs> and and here I am doing this now. Um, yeah, I don't know what else you want to know about me. I, <laughs> I talk a lot about. Oh hi Spyro. Uh, I talk a lot about queer shit and Asian shit and and just being a, a very big a very big slutty boy. Hello. <laughs> 
Uh, pro wrestling and comic books are things that we've covered. We were doing gay slash fic for a while. That was pretty tight. We were talking about cooking. I thought that was Mike. Well, you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I Dash comes up with. A very left-leaning pansexual slut who considers all dogs boys and all cats girls. Absolutely. <laughs> you got me, baby. <laughs> My brand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about couples bowling. All right. What okay. do you got to say about it? You want to do it? I'm not right. bowling. I tell you what, you missed your wife. Yeah, oh. I mean, you're throwing a lot at me right now. <laughs> you put a lot. Three separate thoughts. Put a lot. You put a lot on the table, dog. Please <laughs> 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 come, come back, back Karen. Karen. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> We've all got a Karen that we want to come back. <laughs> right out <of> sea. <laughs> Bowling is fun as hell. I like cosmic bowl. I don't think Karen I can regular never loved bowl. you, Sun God. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> You're oh, right. all right. Well, sorry, Sun God. I overreact. I prematurely <laughs> reacted. Just like Karen. <laughs> Just like Karen. Just kidding. Game. 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 Were we supposed to be talking about Smash Brothers right now, or just kind of everything? <laughs> We're supposed to be talking about couples bowling. I can be caring for ten dollars for 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 a thousand bits. Um, you pick a character for Jerry to play, and he'll also voice Karen. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Karen. It's from the chat. It's yeah. Roundhouse says. Uh, my Karen told me she was gay. It hurt. Uh, that, that, yeah, that'll happen sometimes, but like anything but Smash Bros. Jerry is like orange juice, he can't do a good female voice. Jerry's what? like orange what? juice is a joke. It's that a joke, is a running recurring. joke that I'm orange juice. <sighs> Just like dissing on Jerry. I get it. How he's like yeah, orange I'm, juice. I'm so orange. <laughs> I don't any like any orange joke juice. but that one. <laughs> uh, Spyro wants to know. Um, uh, let's see. Josh. For the dash command on Nightbot. For the what? What have I done? Wait, so is Mike? Yeah. The other guy who hangs with Jesse and makes the. That's Jesse. Are we talking about Jerry? Spelled incorrect. Are you trying to spell Jerry there? <laughs> Jesse ain't got an eye at the end of it, dog. Just re real quick. Yeah. Uh, nah, but they've been all been friends for years. There we go. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 Jer Jerry. Yeah. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Brooks. What the hell hey, it's you? Brooks. <laughs> Mike is obnoxiously the straightest man I've ever met. Like he's, he's just too straight. I say that about my friend David. Yeah. David's pretty cool. I sort of I got a thing where I'm not really accepting new uh, cis straight white dude friends in my life, but David got grandfathered in. He made the uh, so applications made, made are the no applications longer. are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. Sun God said. Sun, oh, that's what Sun God said. Sun God also said several Pikachus. A lot of Pikachus. Oh. Is Jerry a nationality? Um, I'm not really sure how to feel that one, bud. I feel disrespected and <laughs> my culture. Jerry's. It's a stream joke. <laughs> stream joke. He has dash. I can never. Nah, I think we'll be all right, jealous. I'm just. I'm, I talk a big game, but oh, if people are cool. No. If people are cool, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm open to it. Like orange juice, Jerry is full of pulp. <laughs> my culture, my, my, my race of Jerry's has, has harvested many oranges. From yeah, Jerry country. comes from a very specific race where there can only ever be one Jerry at a time. And then when Jerry's time on this earth is up, <laughs> he sort of folds in on himself and forms a cocoon. Oh, and from, I like that. From that, yeah, he folds in on himself. <laughs> and no one likes that, Jerry. Forms a cocoon. I like it. He forms a cocoon. <laughs> I love it. And then, and then, and then from, and then, from, <laughs> and, then from, and then from that cocoon springs a new, a new form Jerry, fully formed, wearing that same beanie. <laughs> uh, it just springs into existence. Um, but is, is it Jerry? really Jerry? Rosa, Rosa's Nightwing. Hey Rosa, thanks for the follow. See, Roxas. see the beanie is just the part. Roxas first Nightwing. Part of the cocoon. Roxas, yeah. Yeah, the the the, the cocoon <laughs> develops <laughs> down from the beanie for sure. Yes. To envelop the rest of you when it's time for a new Jerry to be born. Exactly. It's time. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry, I didn't ask you first. I probably should have I probably should have asked you before I spread intimate details about your reproductive cycle like it's that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Yeah. You can tell the rest of the world. Alright. Well good because we just did. We just did. And by the rest of the world, I mean however many people are in this room. Who knows? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we know you, you now know the secrets of Jerry. You know some of the secrets of Jerry, and for X number of bits, you can know the rest of the secrets of Jerry. <laughs> yes, yes. Four thousand bits. We'll just keep yeah. telling your secrets. Secrets of Jerry sure sounds like the worst secrets of Mana sequel. Mm -hmm. I also have a native language. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, it's yo in it's different yo dialects, in different, different yeah. types of accents. A lot of people can't understand the many yos of Jerry, um, but yeah. what you get comfortable, you get yeah. comfortable with the uh, you get comfortable. Yo! Yep, that, you, that means I agree. Right, that means he's on board. You get yo! comfortable with yo the, um, yo 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 yo. Okay. yo. All this rich Jerry lore. Yeah, this is sort of this is like we didn't want to get this deep into Jerry lore this early <laughs> in the season. Um, Yo, that's why, you know, I, I mean, a lot of my language bleeds into my, you know, English language. It's kind of like so, Cantonese yo, where, like, the inflection yo. really matters a lot. It's like, it's it's such a tonal language. Yo, Jerry's, yo, yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty much what I, you know, yo. Yeah, it's a lot like about. Cantonese. We're in the 16 by 9 street, Or it's more right? like Cantonese. Cantonese. Oh. Hold on a second. Wait, hold on. That's what I thought. Yeah, Jerry, I just went to um, news.gov.com, the yo. website for governmental news. Yo. And, yeah, you got to go to jail, bud, uh, for yo. that. You just got to go straight to jail yo. for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's yo. right It's right here on web uh, news.com. Webnews.com. Webnews.com. Web web the website for news. Jesus, yo. Two bits for the secrets of Jerry. I'm trying to think of a two Jerry bits. secret that's worth two bits. Two bits. <laughs> Mm. You're like the beginning of a secret. Okay, I'll tell you for the first half of it. Okay. Uh, Jerry's greatest weakness is, and then that's what we got. Okay. That's, the, that's what you got for two <laughs> that bits. That you didn't go further than that. <laughs> yeah, oh, for man. two bits, you get the first half of the secret, and that is Jerry's greatest weakness is. We're in the Does Jerry have nine. nips? Jerry's mostly nips. I, I you can't <laughs> tell. Jerry's 99% nip. No, Jerry, a lot and of... 100% reason to win. A, a good thing... A good thing to understand. A good thing to understand about Jerry is whenever you see him clothed, whatever is not visible is just nips. Yeah. That's Sometimes why I have to wear a turtleneck. Covered right. Nips. Yeah. Well, because they spread. They spread. <laughs> they they fluctuate. They're fluctuating nips. Fluctual is Jerry nips. training for upcoming Smash Bros tournaments? Are you training for upcoming tournaments, Jerry? Um, I don't see any tournaments in the near future, but maybe Ultimate. Yeah. You're training for light. So. Yeah. This is light. I always wondered how you can play Smash with nips. Is the hat covering a single nip? It is. It's yeah. Just a big There's just one big power. nip. There's one big nip, but that nip is the source of his power. That yeah. is the source of that is the source of his power. That is the. Uh, it's sort of like a. It's sort of like um. It's sort of like um. I was gonna say Dax, but I didn't mean your Dax. I meant Dax <laughs> from Deep Space Nine. Like a, there's like a Jadzia Dax and there's a Curzon Dax. It's the it's. The nip is the only thing that passes on from Jerry to Jerry once you get through the molting, through the molting process between Jerry's. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely sensitive everywhere. Do the nips make a good flotation device? Unfortunately, no. Jerry can't float. Only when the nips I'm... are very dense and heavy. <laughs> only when I am aroused. When he's aroused, all of the denseness and the heaviness goes from the nips to the member, and then he becomes very, he can float much easier. Which is why when he was trying to drown, he just thought about the most arousing things and he yeah. floated to the top. Uh, Spyro wants to know what your main character in Smash is. Jerry, is it Mario? Yeah. It's Mario. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I was talking about nips with you guys and I just killed this fox. He's probably doing 100% of his concentration. Hell yeah, yeah. That guy's taking <laughs> yeah. it so seriously yeah. and you're just talking about nips. <laughs> Um, I have a huge Jerry secret. All right, let's let's. I'm here. I, we're okay. ready for it. Mm. He is always wearing a hat, and when it is, looks like he isn't, he's actually wearing a hat that blends in well with his hair. Yeah, that's oh. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, because you got to cover that power nip. Yeah, you got to keep nip. that power <laughs> nip covered, just because. Table. I mean, the thing is, it's not even for him; it's for all the rest of us. Because if you right. un you unveil that power nip, and that's just too much power. You're it's like Cyclops' glasses. It's, yeah. 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 Uh, Jerry's power nip is actually from a from a nip dimension. <laughs> from a huge um, nip dimension. Do you remember when they did that? Do you know about that? Uh, so they were trying to explain. They were trying to explain Colossus's metal body in like an actual like science thing. Yeah. They were like, "How? Why is Colossus? Because it creates mass, right?" So they're like, well, actually, all of that metal is just coming in from another dimension oh where that's God. just like a metal body dimension, I guess. And then they <laughs> do the thing where they're like, Cyclops' concussive force comes from R.I.P. Jerry. Yeah. I mean, one day this Jerry will end, as do all Jerry's, but a new Jerry Aww. will spring fresh from the from the yeah, power nip. Yeah, with metamorphosis, nip. I'm, I'm, be, I'm starting From the right. power nip, a new yes. Jerry will rise. Power of nip. There can only, I mean, that's the thing is there can only be one Jerry at a time, and that's a little sad. Yeah. But if you look at it the other way, it's sort of like a glasses half full kind of thing. 
you always get one Jerry. Yeah. There's and, and always a, there's a minimum one, minimum and maximum. There's always one Jerry. It's like an as like a universal constant. At the end of the day, it's like Jerry is like a gift. You have yeah. to treasure while the gift is there. I mean, you don't you have to, but you can. I yell at it every day. You don't yell at gifts. Well, I do. What if it's like a bad gift? Yeah, you don't like, look at gift, Jerry. You like, don't look at gift Jerry in the nip. <laughs> <laughs> if Jerry molts, then how does he have a mom? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna let Jerry feel that one <laughs> because I've created a very rich fiction lore here, and I'm not sure See, how. To... I was born from a nip garden, right? And and uh, right in, in my home. Now, home when you say country. I, do you mean this this iteration of Jerry, or do you mean like Jerry conceptually? Jerry as an ever present being. Yes, ever present being. Oh but, but yeah. It all started. Like I, I, I can, I can be. Uh, what is it called? Uh, you can reproduce by yourself. Self-sufficient is... Self Rod that... say suggests Jerry is mom, mom is Jerry. And the thing is, I like it. Oh. And the thing is, I'm on board. I'm on board with that. I wonder if my mom knows exactly where I am every day. <laughs> Tom is Jerry. Damn, dog. Damn. Dog. Damn. Tom and Jerry. Once every thousand years, the power nip will spawn a legendary power nip, thus forming the ultimate cherry. I mean, yeah, we're all worried about when that happens. Oh, yeah. None of us know what that means. It's just looming over us. It's, we're all fucking terrified. Uh, does the last emergence of the power Jerry coincide with the destruction of the dinosaurs? Yeah. Did he cause that? We don't know. Did he try to stop it? And if he did, why wasn't he successful? We don't know. I tried to have all of the dinosaurs hide under my nip, but... Um... We're trying... The, the thing is... Why is Jerry shit? I mean, why why is happiness? You know what I mean? Like why why you know uh, why is the sunshine? Why is the the moon made of of a, of a man with a fishing pole? You don't know any of the answers to these questions. Why is Jerry? I can't. Aren't we overdue for a new legendary power nip? We are. I and love that's, this lag. And that's what's scary. Yes. And that's what's scary. See, when he goes I to think it's lagging because you're talking about my nips too much. And, uh, <laughs> that's true. It's exploding his power. God. Yeah, I'm not. I, I mean, I just, I do hope I don't. I do hope I'm I don't. Sensing it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, 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 all right. Stop. stop. Okay. Stop well. talking. My, my nips are burning. You gotta stop talking about <laughs> my nips. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Nip lag. Yeah, this is this is some nip lag. Sometimes the life. forces of the universe conspire to stop you from going on a bit that maybe lasted a little too long, or maybe <laughs> not long enough. Or maybe you should have bailed out of early on. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you run away, real <laughs> run some, away from a nip lag. Sometimes you just sometimes you start a gag, and it's like a medium gag to begin with, but you just kind of keep going at it. You know, you just keep going with the bit, and then ultimately, and then ultimately, you just you know, here's where you are. Yeah, sometimes you just bit. go too long on the nip bit kind of slipped on that nip bit. Mm. But then if you trip on the nip bit, then you'll come. Then you're oh, tripping you're tripping man. off, yeah. All the nips? All the nips. But truly time. when is Jerry? Jerry is always. Jerry is forever. <laughs> Duh. Why? You can't keep trying to get us that why again. <laughs> no, you don't no. know. Dog, like I'm not a philosopher. <laughs> I can't even think about why is Jerry. Why am I? Are you fighting the same guy? Okay, no, good. I'm I'm fighting different people. Bye. I like to fight different lag. people. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. Well, it's you, it's your lag. It's, it's his lag. It's your, it's your internet. One on one. BM. Oh. BMO. That's a BMO. Oh. What are nip gardens? Uh, 10 bit, party 10. What are the 10. Speaking of nip bits, lol. All right, well, now nip we've been bits. given some money to talk more about nip bits. I feel more comfortable talking about nip bits. All right. Thank you. That's actually my currency. Nip bits. Yeah, Remember nip we my talked about it's my favorite ska band. Yeah. Remember how we does talked one about couples bowling? Me neither. <laughs> how does one obtain these gardens? Listen, if anyone knew where the nip fabled nip gardens were, would you think we would be here right now, or do you think we'd, we'd be, be hacking hacking through a uh, lost jungle into a into a puzzle filled dungeon trying to get at these elusive nip gardens? Legend of the Hidden Temple that's a, is based on a true story. That's a pretty silly question, I think. After you defeat the first boss, yeah. When you defeat the first boss in the ja in the jungle that you gotta hack and slash through, mm -hmm. you get a key for sure. The key opens up the puzzle filled dungeon. This is all basic stuff. The new Tomb Raider game is about Jerry's nips in the nip gardens. And then you go to your neighbor, and then he says, "Jerry is like orange juice." Pink characters are my weakness because of <laughs> nips. They remind me of my home country, so I go easy on them. Wait, Jerry, are you adding to the fiction that there's a nip country now? <laughs> Is that what you've just put into this bullshit that we've been doing? <laughs> I, I love just this rich added lore. more to the soup. Mm -hmm. the nip soup. Oh. 
Should have ran out of steam on this nip bit, y'all. This is what your uterus looks like when you're on a period. What? Oh, they're just the everything? Mm hmm That's fair. Oh my god. It's just yeah. characters fighting inside of your uterus and causing you pain. And the rest is just blood and sadness. His nip country is Niptopia. <laughs> yeah, dino nip, dino Niptopia. Where it's all just giant sentient nips. Jesus. <laughs> Enlighten me even more. All right, You well. mean heaven. Nipsylvania seems correct. I do like Nipsylvania yeah, a little bit better than Niptopia. Teach us the meals of this nip land. It's mostly milk. <laughs> just kind of a milk based. They prayed to the nip gods. I wish I menstruated. No, you fucking don't, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Don't no, wish you that. don't. As a trans man who has not gotten a hysterectomy yet, you fucking don't want that, okay? Let me tell you. Basically, someone just shows up once a month to tell you you're a piece of shit and that you should be pregnant and then causes you pain for it. And they're like, okay, cool, I'll see you next month. <laughs> it's it's really <laughs> There's no end in sight. No. <laughs> land of milk and honey, it's the land of nips and horny. Mm. Well, I mean that's kinda seems Hey, are you thirty percent spandex? Cause that was a stretch. <laughs> 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 No joke this time, but there's a tissue on my desk, and should I and I should throw it away? Well, Rod has I mean, the tidy up. That's nice. I listen. No one can tell you how to live your life, but you, dog. No one can tell you what you know. What I mean, sometimes you gotta just let a, a tissue stay on the desk, and sometimes you gotta toss that right in the garbage pail. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, how are you trying to live your life? I can't tell you. You know, sometimes you shoot for the desk, but you land on the garbage. I threw it away. Who take that, Karen? <laughs> Yeah, Karen, Karen did love that. Karen did love that tissue on that desk, Karen huh? Karen loved a messy place. And Karen just loved the, wasn't loved that one tissue on that desk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rod, I'm trying to yes and you so good, my dog, but you're just not giving me a lot to work with. If you could <laughs> you to build this Karen lore a little bit more, I would love. You're driving the train. I'd love to jump on board, but you're not giving me enough of a hitch to hook my train <laughs> onto. I get. Who boy? Can we make Jesse play? No. Um. Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know. It'd have to be like a high fucking. Um, let me see what it is for challenge. I feel like that might. Be Karen was born in 1992, so she was probably a vampire. Well, that's ageist, Rod Husse. Karen could have just been a very old person. Now I'm missing my Karen. I'm sad now. Uh, 5,000 bits. I'll play around. There's a sword. The sword? Yeah. Here or there? On the thing, like next to Jealous. Jealous got a sword. Oh, you know, I don't know. It's a bit badge of some kind. All right. She only had like one wrinkle and two fangs. Horn is lust for blood. Well, that sounds like a vampire, my dog. I think you might. Frankly, have just... in hindsight, the fact that you're just coming to this information now is concerning. I feel like you need to re up your vampire lore. Oh my God, I feel like you're just you're just walking out. You're just walking around outside of the world, just kind of like. I mean, she's a mod. Oh, cool. You just oh tight. All for Jesse to play. Five thousand bits. 5,000 doesn't seem like enough to get Jesse to play. <laughs> doesn't seem enough, but that's yeah. what we're offering. Wait, if they do have 5,000 bits, you'll play a game? 5,000 bits. 5,000 bits, Jesse will play a game. Yeah, um, yeah Roundhouse, I'd like to talk about your inability to, to decipher what is and is not a vampire. Because I think it's going to... Because I think it's going to... Um, just because she wants to drain me of life doesn't mean she's a vampire. <laughs> that's true, but what you've, what you've set up for us in this rich fiction that you've, you're trying to create... Is that she had two fangs and was looked very young and was from the twenties, um, in which case what you've described is a vampire. But the fact that you're again just not coming to this right now, just that you're like, oh fuck! Now only talking in this stream with these people have I discovered that my beloved Karen was in fact a vampire. I just, <laughs> but I'm worried about you. The Mini Cooper is the most horrifying part. I don't understand the reference, Resnick. <laughs> Succubi drink life force. Yeah, in Incubi and Succubi are both c consumers of, of life of life force. You see, Jealous gets it. Incubi wrote that song that's like, Whatever tomorrow brings, I'll be there. Hold on a second. Hold on, wait. Please don't send me to jail. Hold on, I wouldn't. I've never sent anyone to jail. Okay. I'm just pulling he up. He sent me to jail. Well, don't trust I didn't, him. I didn't pull you to jail. I didn't pull you to jail. Um, I'm just pulling up. 
-hmm. It looks like oh yeah. I went on <gasps> I went on news <gasps> news .jail and, uh -huh. and it's just a picture of your face. You gotta, oh no! Yeah, you gotta. It's very oh, bad. Oh, I agree with Jerry. That's very bad. Yeah. News very bad. Jail. Um, but it's worth it for that. That really that good incubus great. bit. Absolutely. For that super good ass incubus. I would go to jail for many jokes. Because <laughs> I believe in myself. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse's an incubus criminal and has to go to incubus jail now. And I don't make the laws, nor do I enforce them. I'm just How a believer the hell in them. We wind up like this. Oh. That's it. To the cl ink with you. I love the, the clinkubus. The, the, the elevator music in the background was just perfect. We were yeah, just looking was, at each other. It was, it, was, it was pretty, pretty good. Very bad jail. Yeah, it is a very bad jail. Fjords, incubus jail is arguably the worst of the jails. <laughs> there's no one to six in there. I mean, there's only How incubus fans, which makes it the worst jail. <laughs> oh, Mario and Bowser. Oh, damn. It's Bowsette. Only See, I am I, allowed to see Nickelback. <laughs> Jealous, are you? Elevator chair. Jealous, are you Nickelback? Because only Nickelback is allowed to see Nickelback by are the law. Are you Mr. Nickelback? That's just the law. So how's Bowsette, guys? I think Bowsette's pretty tight. I think a lot of people... I will say I do agree with the meme that's going around that people keep drawing Bowsette as like like a Bazonga's anime character, which like, sure, but like... Draw Bowsette is like thick as fuck. Bowser's <laughs> thick. Draw Bowsette thick. That's true, yeah. I used to think she was very hot, and then you started telling me that sad story about how Bowser was talking to his kid, and then put on the crowd to pretend to be the mom, and now I'm like, well, I'm just gonna cry and have a boner. Yeah. And that's never a good thick, time. Yeah, hell yeah, thick Bowsette, dog. Everyone's thick. Listen, as, a, as, as the thick representative on this stream right now, <laughs> As the leader of as the leader of the thickness, um, that was a that was really bad, and I apologize to all of you. Yeah, make everyone thick. Oh, I just turned on his lag switch. Oh, cool. Don't turn on his lag switch. Being a hunter, I think the preferred term is little person. Not to be that guy, but I'm totally that guy. And I would never pretend not to be that guy. It's, it's your boy it's Dash. Your boy is here. Your boy is Dash. Little person is the preferred term. Mm -hmm. Thick must unite. Hell yeah, dog. Thickness, thickness for life. I'm trying to get healthy. <laughs> so maybe not think this way. But even I think even healthy, I'm a thick boy. I think I don't think that I'll ever not be thick. I think that's just I think I'll just be I'll just be a little I'll be thick in a in a better way as I as I become a healthier boy. Thick, dark, redheaded Bazette. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. If the question is does liking Bazette make you a scaly, the answer is yes. <laughs> That is the definitive answer right there. <laughs> the answer is uh, correct, yes. Imagine looking at that giant scary turtle and not and wanting to fuck it. I'm not trying to yuck anyone's yum, dog. You trying to fuck <laughs> a giant scary turtle? You fuck... Okay, here's... Okay, let's specify this. A sentient giant scary turtle that is able to give or withdraw consent. That's important. <laughs> if you're just like... If you're just cruising on the beach and you see a giant scary turtle and your first instinct is, I'm gonna fuck that turtle. I mean, don't. You know? Yeah, because like also it might... Bite your dick yeah. off. Probably got a lot. Snapper kind of, turtle. Probably got a lot of weird turtley diseases too. That also, diseases. It's just not a good idea, unless that turns you on. Slowly creep up on your body too. If only by that were real, and an antagonist who competed against Peach instead of being an actual turtle. Dog, a game that's just Peach versus Bowsette would be cool as fuck. I would be mm. so into that. That'd be a cool ass game. Hell yeah. 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 You want that turtle soup? I don't want that. I mean, depends on the turtle. I've always known I was a softcore scaly furry because of anime, so I'm fine with that judgment. Hey, listen, do not get me wrong, my dog. I'll talk about furries and scalies. I'm not a furry, but fucking, if you make fun of furries, go fuck yourself. Furries are fine. If you want to spend money on a suit and fucking it, good. I won't spend money on a suit to do job interviews because that's just the way I live my life. I don't own a suit. Why would I own a suit? Have we met? Um, but no, fuck anyone shitting on furries. Furries are just people. Um, unless they're Nazi furries, in which case, go fuck yourself, Nazi furries. <laughs> Yeah, any kind of like anything with Nazi attached to it. I'm probably yeah, like. Yeah, if you put Nazi as a prefix or a suffix on anything, go fuck yourself. Uh, unless you're like anti Nazi. But even then, like, you maybe do a different. <laughs> best stream that's really made my day. Hell yeah, dog. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sick of people shitting on furries. <laughs> It yeah. just is a person who's put a lot more into into sex than I ever will. And you know what? <laughs> Fucking good for them. I just don't understand how, like, they stay cool. 
You know, because it's like a big. Well, I know that like yeah. mascot suits at Disneyland have like air conditioning units in them. Mm -hmm. A well, furry is a just an animal. A furry is just an animal larper. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Like I, I don't was a think, tiger. I feel like fucking is a lot less a part of LARP culture. Well, I'm just saying that like when I was I was um, a tiger mascot in middle school. And it was hot as fuck. I yeah. cannot like me doing the worm and hanging out. With Hold on, while was, the worm? right? Who is the stranger speaking on the couch? Hi, I'm Dash. <laughs> I'm a stand-up comic. I tour all over this terrible country, telling jokes to people. Uh, I run the D and D podcast that Jesse's on. That's why I'm here. I know all these boys through that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's me. I'm the stranger. Hello, Garbo. Nice. <laughs> Garbo six twenty nine. If you take out that two, I'll give you a nice. Because <laughs> then it'll be sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> With the funniest of numbers. Hi, Garbo. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm just talking about why furries are actually good, contrary to what the internet says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was one of those things where you kind of just parrot it when you're younger. You hear people shitting on furries. Oh, you're for like, sure. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, yo. But then yo. you actually learn, like, hey, they donate a lot to charity, and they also do this. And, like, I'm like, oh, shit. Well, mm, maybe I was a little shit and, and didn't understand things. That's part of it is, like, we've all got fucking shitty opinions in the past because we didn't know any better. No one explained shit to us. I didn't, I have bad opinions about, about so many of the things that I hold dear now just because when I was younger, I was dumb. Um, oh, it's not a D and D stream. It's a podcast. Mm -hmm. We actually work really hard to make it as much of a multimedia experience as, as we can. So like myself and Sam, who's one of the players and also my co-producer on it, we compose like a f complete original soundtrack for it. We do a lot of Foley work. We do a lot of editing. So it's not just like listening to people play D and D. It's listening to people play D and D like pretty much like a radio play. Mm -hmm. Is how I sort of how yeah. I, I try to I try to make it. Yeah, people really. The one thing I keep hearing from people is like, "Wow, this is really well produced," and Oof. I'm very glad about Thank that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to appeal to people who don't really know anything about D and D, and and maybe uh, are interested, in maybe playing, or even just want to hear it. D and D is hard, y'all. I fucking when I was growing up, I just made characters and never got in the game, so I didn't have anyone who would play D and D with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Garbo, it's at D N D dot cool. It's called Lost in the Multiverse. If you were to tell you, you should check it out too. Uh, if you go to uh, twitter.com slash litmcast, do I ever use puns in stand up? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> I do. Nickelback is stuck in my head now. I think it's photograph. I think it's your oh, fault. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. I love podcasts like that. Hell yeah. Well, I hope you like it. Definitely, if, if you like it, um, you know, f I mean, you know, follow the podcast on Twitter at LITMcast. Um, and let me know what you think of it. I, I, you know, we keep we keep making it. We just, season one is completely online now, so it's a good time to, like, binge through that. And season two is about to start coming out. Um, I'm really proud of it. This is probably the thing that I've put uh, the most effort into of any of the things that I've made. Yeah. It's cool. We just um, filmed some live action stuff that Jerry actually helped us with us, where we had the whole cast and we painted some mini figures. And, uh, yeah, we did a mini questions. painting day. Yeah, this is very cool. fun. Tell us that Zelda turns into a dog, though. This one? Does this Zelda turn into no. a dog? This is a really good Zelda. Does it turn into a dog? Does she turn into a dog? I don't remember. I that. haven't paid a ton of attention to the. To the uh, to the the Legend of Zelda lore. <laughs> I still have to listen past episode five. Hell yeah, Sam! It gets real good. You got some cool ass surprises coming your way. Resnick has a sticker from it. Hell yeah! Nice. Glad you like it. Um um um. Uh, Lily Hoida did all of the art for the characters. You can find her at buttart.tumblr.com. Um, she does a bunch of cool. Does a bunch of cool art on there. Uh, I'm not making a joke about Twilight Princess Long turning into a yeah. Okay. Twilight Princess Long does turn into a dog. That's a good point. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the joke, Garbo. Long is a metaphor for why smashing pottery is a good idea. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll get on board with that. Once you purchase the pottery. <laughs> Long doesn't turn into a dog. Well, we've got some. We've got some. We've got some uh, hostility on the. Yeah, but a wolf is just oh, a no. is a wolf is just a big bitey dog. <laughs> wolf is just a big bitey hairy dog. I don't know about cooler. You watch yourself, Rod Hussey, because there's some cool ass dogs. 
We were just talking about how good pit bulls are. Hmm? Pit bulls are my favorite kind of dogs. They have really big heads, and, and I relate to that. Um, <laughs> wolves are crazier dogs. They can be. I think wolves. a wolf is just a big, bitey dog. Um, a wolf is a big, bitey dog. Uh, long turned into corgi. That would be sick as hell. That would be sick as hell, Garbo. I'm not on board. Hold on, we can't say yeah. Don't we can't we have to? I think we have to say that a dog is a sub is a sub sub type of wolf mm -hmm. because they came from wolves. I feel like this is like if you start classifying things based on what they came for. So I think our base has got to be wolf, right? Instead of a wolf being a bitey dog, I feel like a dog's got to be a less bitey wolf. Corgis are pretty cool. Um, I used to live in, I'm from San Francisco originally, and they had like a costume corgi beach day where tons of people brought their costume corgis to the beach. And a bunch That's of people, amazing. and there was like a squirtle corgi, which appeals to me because I have a giant squirtle tattoo. That's so cool. Oh my God. Just, just like, like all, all, all corgis. Because I need to put Patreon. Hey, Sam, I, I want you to know that I support you supporting the Patreon of Lost in the Multiverse. <laughs> 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 Oh man, this lag is not treating you well. Yeah, yeah the lag is kind of goofing you up a little bit, Jerry. Yeah. If only something else would goof him up. If only... Anything else. If only anything else would goof up, Jerry. <laughs> like, yes, did you, you ever like go to a pirate and ask him for advice? I did once and he stabbed me and said his advice was terrible. Well, Roundhouse, I just... I mean, that sounds like... I'm sorry that that happened to you. That doesn't <laughs> sound pleasant. Um, you know, we live and we learn, and I hope that you learned a valuable lesson about who to ask advice for, or maybe who to trust. Squirtle's also your favorite. Did I show you? I got a, and the nip is covered, so don't. <laughs> that, but I got a, I got a big. The whole, this whole part of my chest is a big Squirtle tattoo. Um, if you go on my Instagram, you can find pictures of that, I guess. Yeah. I'll tell my Smash Mouth got stuck in screen here. <laughs> and this is, I'm, a, this is one of those things that I will admit to people. Uh, first album I ever bought for myself was Smash Mouth's Astro Lounge. Hell yeah. That's a good ass album. Also, guys, the stream is actually almost over, so if you donate oh, now, dang. then we will, like, continue playing to, to finish up your shit. But other than that, I think this is the last round. Yeah. This is the last round. What's that Instagram? It's at Dash Kwiatkowski. Just, it's, you can find it if you search my name on Instagram. Um, I post all of my tattoo pics. I post a lot of, I post a lot of, uh, very, uh, very just bushy gay shit about my boyfriend. I post uh, a lot of tattoo pics and mushy. Sh yeah. Mm -hmm. Otaku, Otaku weeb. weeb. I wonder what his whole thing is. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate <laughs> Thank you so it. Much. Otaku Weeb, what are you into? Just generally. Someone Jesse, donate three I... hours worth of sock hands. Oh, fuck it. Jesse, can you tell Dash I think he's cool? I don't want to. I don't know it. You know, it was me. I just want to, like, know. Like, it's a secret. Okay, I got you. No. Hey, Dash. What's up? Someone thinks you're cool. I can't tell you who. Oh, but... damn, who? Well, I, can't, I can't say. It's me! And Jerry. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry, I think you're very cool. Jerry, I think you're cool too, bud. Oh, thank you. No one ever told me that. You make my nips cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's. Oh, uh, we did we're, it. We're going to play the credits. Mm. Wait, do we talk over the credits? Uh, Yes, it's just. Oh, a okay. Visual I was going to say, what a weird, what a weird way to. Otaku Weeb says, hmm. Damn it, Jerry. Uh, thank yeah, you so much. To everyone <laughs> who donated bits, followed, subbed. Uh, really fucking appreciate it. You made this stream very fun and torture Jerry, which is my favorite thing to do. We had a lot of fun. Well, yeah. jealous, crying nips. No, if it's tears coming out, then it's crying. If it's milk, if it's milk coming out, it's lactating. One yeah. fun thing about Jerry and his many, many nips is that at any given point, one of them has to be lactating, mm -hmm. and two of them have to be crying. And yeah. you can never tell which ones are going to do it. But you have to have a good look. But if you can predict the next three to do all that in the con correct configuration, you get a wish. Yeah. Anything you want. Is it like a monkey's paw wish? Where like it is a monkey's paw yeah, wish for something actually, very. Yeah, yeah it's what it's a, you, you got to word it. You got to word it really carefully, mm. otherwise some real bad stuff happens. Yeah. Hey, well, it was great meeting you too, Rattlesnake. Yeah, thank uh, you for coming on, Dash. Yeah, thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun. You can yeah. find me at Twitter. Uh, dot com slash uh, 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 Dash Kwiatkowski. That's K W I A T K O W S K I. Um, you can also find me on, um, you know, at my house where I live. <laughs> oh, um, you, uh, you sent out a tweet tagging Elite 3 Official in I it. Did so if you search, I did tag Elite 3 Official. Yeah, so if you search at Elite 3 Official, like our Twitter, it'll probably come up with people talking and about And I knew you, you retweeted me, so you can find me. You retweet yeah. me sometimes, I anyway. I sometimes, and um, also, yeah, so. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me, boys. Yeah, yeah. totally. 
Yeah. And and thanks to all of, and thanks to all of you. It was uh, it was good to meet you, Fjords. I think it's Fjords. I'm just kind of guessing how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, Baymax was lovely to meet you, Resnick. Uh, Rod say I hope that your many difficulties become solved. <laughs> um, all these, all these, deli- all these delightful. Oh, Sam wants to know if you'll see more of me soon. Uh, maybe, probably. It's up yeah. to it's up to these boys. Yeah, we yeah. Buy some, lot, wooden, so. buy some wooden stakes, Rod House, because I don't think you can tell what vampires are. <laughs> and I worry about, I worry about safe, that, and I worry about you. Know? you. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. with that luck, you you might just find a regular like person and just yeah. Be them real careful f- before you stab someone. Mm-hmm. Just like double, triple. Quadruple check that. Quadruple check that, my dog. Yeah. Just give them some garlic or don't invite them in the house and see if they can. Watch some Buffy. That's a good sort of primer on vampires and vampirism. Feel free to watch The Lost Boys. That's another good one. Mm -hmm. Are we just plugging movies we like now? I think (laughs) we're plugging our. Is that that involve vampires? Just don't stab people. Just don't. Unless you're. Unless you got. Unless you know the vampire. Unless you're really sure. You watch What We Do in the Shadows. That's a good one. Buffy is a great TV show. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. That's what we can take away from this stream. Yeah. I think that's... We were vampires. If you learn one thing in this stream... Yeah, watch out for vampires. Yeah. And just, you know, live your best life. And remember, if you shit on furries, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, there was that one time she bit me, and I said, Ow, Karen, that really hurt. But yeah, it's really hard to type with bat wings. You know, that might be a sign. Oh, no. I'm not a doctor, but you should get it... You know what? If you get it checked out at a doctor, he's just going to say, holy shit, you're a vampire and kill you. So maybe yeah. just yeah. chill out for a bit, lay low. Yeah. You just got to, you know, you just got to live your life. Mm-hmm. You got to live the best life you can. And, um, you know, I'm sort of running out of stuff to say. Yeah. I, was, I lost steam a good 30 minutes ago and I've been continuing. Could you tell? Could you tell? Could you Think both so. tell? Could you tell? Well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. We're going to be showing the Nuzlocke again. So yes. stay tuned. We'll show you more Nuzlocke.